All right. Hello and welcome back, everyone. It's time for us to just get right back into it. Let's just get right back into it. We've got... Got some questing to do. We've got some missions to accomplish. Um, journal. Mission summary. Um, okay, here's the thing. So we have to do... So this is the one we just got. We just got this mission. Uh, the Grism Academy. Which we needed to take Edie and someone else on. And I cannot remember who. Um, what was this one? This is the summit? Oh, we need to go and get Rex. Yeah. So we go pick up Rex. N7 Cerberus Lab. The Alliance has discovered a new services laboratory located on Sanctum. Investigate the lab and deal with any potential threat. Okay. And then, what was this one? Uh, Shrike Abyssal. A Volus Diplomat needs a pro- Wait, what? Needs a Prothean Obelisk? Recover it? What does a Volus- What does a Volus need for this? Okay. And Codex. Codex Secondary. Man, look at all the stuff in the Codex. Good gracious. Good thing we already know most of this. Um, squad levels up. Alright, so we've got a decent amount of reputation. So our reputation is almost what? This is already past case. Okay, so there's one quarter. Right? One, two, three, four. I guess fives in fifths. So we're almost at two fifths of the way full. Mostly Paragon. A little bit of Renegade. Yeah, just uh, sprinkled in. We have 18 points. And I, I was thinking we should probably upgrade our ammo type to do more damage. Because um, during that mission that we had on the moon, having more damage would be very useful. Or at the very least, increasing the odds of freezing, right? The duration of freezing is nice and all, but like the, it's crazy. Double the duration. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Uh, but we'll probably take that over giving cryo ammo to the rest of the team. Like, I don't see why we would. Just... I guess this means that we could just kind of, like, pepper everyone with uh, freezing, right? Just kind of, like, a big spread of freezing ammo. Just kind of slow down a bunch of people. The ammo capacity idea, I think, is really cool. Um, headshots increase headshot damage to frozen enemies. We're really good against big bosses. This might be good against big bosses. Especially if we can weaken armor by 50%. Especially against those brutes. Oh my goodness, those brutes are crazy. Uh, well, at the very least, put two points in for freeze chance. I see no reason not to take this. 30% increased freeze chance from what I'm assuming is a default 10. For all we know, it's, a, enough, it, it's definitely like a decent amount of freezing that seems to occur. Um, it doesn't tell us, though. But even if it's zero, which it definitely isn't, uh, 30%, that's one in three bullets that hits them. <laughs> they, they freeze, essentially. Not quite, but more or less, right? So why not? So we'll just go ahead and put that point in here. Um, the remaining 16, I kind of wait on. I kind of want to wait on because that's enough for us to get, you know, a good chunk of points in here. I still remember to use sabotage more. <laughs> I remember to use sabotage more. Um, I think we have a whole bunch of unread email. Oh my goodness, we do. All right, well, let's get the water and let's get ready for some email reading. Here we go. All right, what do we have here? Omega, come see me. From Arya to Loke. Oh my goodness, it's Arya to Loke. Shepard, I have some important uh, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. Uh, in the meantime, come see me on this what, on the Citadel? In the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Alright. Um, after reading this, does this go into, like, our... It doesn't go anywhere... useful. So we just have to remember. So we just have to remember to go there. Okay. Huh. I'm very curious. I'm very curious what, uh, what Arya Talok <laughs> needs from us. Very curious. So we're going to have to just remember this stuff. Oh, and it says again up here, meet me in purgatory. Okay. We just read that, right? Yeah, Omega, come see me, then meet me in purgatory. Okay. I have a proposal for you, Shepard. Uh, you won't want to pass this up. I'm in the nightclub in the circuit of purgatory. Don't wait too long. Oh, okay. Maybe we just need to go now. Because she sent us two emails now. She sent us two emails. We should probably just go there immediately. Oh, but we also can't wait for um, 
the uh, Gross Gosum Academy. We can't wait on that one. I was told like we can't wait, and it, the way they described it because they're like trying to evacuate um, students. It sounds like we need to go immediately. It sounds like trying like if we go if we wait to go and evacuate them, they'll probably lose some people. So we'll have to take a look at that. Urgent message from Admiral Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Grant Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important, important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts in the first possible opportunity. Okay. Uh, please visit his laboratory in the Citadel once. Okay, I guess we just need to go to the Citadel. We've got two reasons, three reasons, actually. We need to go and um, meet up with Ashley Williams. Williams, uh, I don't think, did we get an email from Williams? Welcome back, gift, upgrades, no. But I remember there was something about, like, we were told that um, that Williams was back up and running. So we've got three reasons to go back to the Citadel. So we need to go talk to Williams. We need to go talk to this researcher person for Admiral Hackett. And we need to go talk to Arya to soak, to look. Um, so, okay, so we need, we need to go to the Citadel. There are three things to go there for. The ANN alert, new article on Eden Prime. We are already there, so no problem. Don't worry. Sorted. Um, from the Alliance News Network's information partners, Alliance officers confirmed a local resistance movement has successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Okay, this is just telling us what happened because we were there. Uh, Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after constant attacks from the United Populace, uh, Cerberus troops treated, um, Cerberus troops treated. Uh, Alliance officers are sending in evacuation transports now to get colonists off-world before Reaper forces reach the colony. We owe this victory to the Alliance, Resistance leader uh, Edward Crabb said uh, in a prepared statement. Uh, the people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but the Alliance intel gave us the tools we needed to push uh, those service bastards off our planet. Uh, many Resistance fighters have said to pl they plan to enlist and support the Alliance. Nice! Alright, that's good. We need that. We need that. All right. Um, is this address valid? Okay. Uh, is this address valid? Shepard. I've called and I've sent messages, but gotten no response. From Earth's comm, uh, comm system, with Earth's comm system out, I don't expect uh, this will get through either, but I heard rumors in Normandy docked here uh, on the, at the Citadel. Okay. <laughs> Going back to the Citadel. Um, are you alive? I'm at, oh, uh, okay, we need to go to uh, the hospital again. Okay, so there's four things we need to do with this. That we we got to go to the Citadel badly. Um, please excuse the moniker um, and this email encryption in my line of work. It is unwise to uh, advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. Um, Thane! Oh my goodness. We should meet before circumstances force us to part again, Thane. I need. To, I just need to go to the Citadel. Like I can't. Unfortunately, I think the Academy is going to wait a smidgen. We're going to go to the Citadel, then we'll go to the Academy. I think is what we're going to have to do, just because they, they, we have four. We have four reasons to go to the, the Citadel now. Um, from Center Blocked, Commander. My name is Jondam Bao, uh, and I'm with uh, Special Tactical Recon. Um. While some still have, uh, while some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, uh, many of us at the STR, ST and R, uh, took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. Hey, that's great. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with specific political powers to the Reaper. What? Uh oh, some people are indoctrinated or bought off. That's not good. Uh, if you have time, meet me in the Citadel Embassy. We're going to the Citadel. All right, all right, John. Okay, great. And there's Williams. Okay, me. Wait, what? Me, a Spectre from Ashley Williams, Commander. I don't know what to say, how to say this, but Adina made me. What wants me to be a Spectre? Crazy, I know. I'm not a big fan of Adina, but uh, he can make the Spectre thing happen. He's pushing me for an answer, but I don't know what to tell him. I'm too sore to get out of bed. And this gets dropped on me? I told him to think about it. If you find yourself near the Citadel, drop by the hospital. I'm going a little stir crazy here, Ashley. Oh my good gracious, okay. <laughs> We've got like five things we need to go to the Citadel for. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the it's the S T and R. If they remove the and here, it'd just be S T R. How's it going, Alistair? How you doing today? Good to see it. It's clearly the S T and R. All right, we're going to the Citadel. There's there's so many things we need to do. Anything else pop into the journal? No, that's the only thing that goes into the journal. That's it. Okay. What about like all the other things? Like, so we just have to remember all of our other little t like teeny tiny tasks. Brutal. All right. Leave. Um. Still like nothing here. In Turbia. Do I need to pick a fuel over here? It's pronounced uh, Stander. Nice. S T and R Stander. I like. That. I like it. That's perfect. That's perfect. You're pretty sure it was supposed to be uh, pronounced star? S-T and R. Oh my goodness, you're right. Yeah, S-T and the amp ampersand. Star. Man, I didn't think about that at all. Hmm. These make sense. So we can go to these other um, areas here. In the uh, Apian Crest. Let's see if we can find some tactical stuff real quick before we head off to the Citadel. But then we'll go to the Citadel, and then we'll go to the... Oh my goodness, look at the size of the asteroid belts. I got two. Oh, that's awkward. Uh... I found something. Thanks, Edie. Alright, this is the only one we can play with for right now, I guess. Oh, it's just fuel, isn't it? Ah, oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, right, hey, at least we can leave the system without having any problems, right? That works. We'll just have to come back later. I'm assuming... Reapers pop up here? No? Oh, okay, cool. Then in which case, we can go over to... here? Yeah, it's gonna be a really close call if we try and go for it. 20% assets? So that means there's two here, which puts us at 40, so there's three over here. Okay. Uh, we'll just come back. We'll come back later. Let's go to the Citadel. Let's go to the Citadel. We've got some important stuff to get done at the Citadel. We've got like five uh, side quests. Maybe uh, one main quest and four side quests or something like that. Yeah, we'll come back to the Aiken Crest later. Yeah. Okay, it actually does say meet with uh, Talok. It also says meet with diplomats. Hmm. Rescue students. Yeah, I need to go and do rescuing students. It's a Cerberus lab over here. Yeah, it's just not something we... Oh, interesting. It's just the direction we get here by stars, but we're not landing in between. All right, we'll go back to, this, uh, to the Serpent Nebula here. Let's just go do the Citadel stuff. Let's go from there. Oh, you haven't played this game, but it looks like you're uh, pressing the scan button multiple times, and that's what's leading to the Reaper's alertness jumping up massively. I don't know. I was playing around with, like, seeing what was going on and seeing if I could accidentally trigger it um, by pressing the button a bunch in the main system out of those three clusters. Um, and so that's probably what caused that problem. So I pressed it a bunch. And then I went over there. I still don't understand how the scan thing really works. Um, I, I get I have a general inkling, but... Yeah. Without having like a, a true full understanding of like how the mechanic properly works, what's the radius that it ends up hitting, how many things you generally find in the area, is it just like random spots in a system, or if they're generally like localized in areas? I don't know. So I'm just hitting the button a bunch. Oh look at that. Oh, we're gonna go to the docks, but hey, look at that, that's pretty cool. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking <laughs> permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Ah, uh, I see. So we can go straight to the hospital or embassies. We'll go to the hospital first. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, they don't show up around mass relays. You're guessing uh, that you don't get uh, soft locked. Oh, so you don't get soft locked or whatever. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Or just because they wanted those areas to be safe spaces. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. I will no longer scan in those sectors. I will only scan in other areas. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but no, you don't understand. This is for Reapers. Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Hmm, okay. Well, we just listened over her shoulder and we found a new mission. But also, we found a Thane. Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long <laughs> as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. I appreciate Captain that. Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Oh, we can just say bye? No, 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 we're gonna chat. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. True. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. Yeah, you can still help, though. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I understand. I mean, he is kind of dying, eh? Um. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Mm. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. <laughs> it's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. That's great. I'm back in the Normandy. Oh, okay, we already. I would not be. Already asked that. It was yeah, fine. We're just gonna have to say goodbye Reapers then. Else somehow. To say. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. That's great. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we got, hey, we got some reputation for that. Cool, I'll take it. Um, I'm curious. If we go to the journal, do we find anything here for... Ah, there it is. Metagel. All right. Doctor needs a new Metagel formula spe uh, specific for aliens. Find the new formula and deliver it. Ugh. Probably have to go get that from Solarians, yeah? I'm just gonna assume. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. 
took her long enough to get the hint. <laughs> and I understand. You're good. Um, Welcome to Serta. On Serta supplies, this is just all... Yeah, no. no. Oh, wait, there is a Metagel capacity. Yeah, I think we should just buy the Metagel capacity, honestly. Uh, 6 king. Snap that. How's it going, Chris Engine? How are you doing today? Um, that scene was a bit undermined by Shepard's uh, janky sitting to standing into a little, yeah, yeah, a little. But how's it going, Curse Engine? How are you doing today? Oh uh, yeah, I'll go pick this thing up. We definitely need that. That is important. That is useful. We're gonna want that. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Scan me. Scan me. All right. Oh. I'm trying to place oh. a call to Grissom Academy. They have bionic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. All right. No, uh, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Mm-hmm. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. Yeah, no, um... We are going to the academy next. Uh, once we're done with the citadel here, that's for sure where we need to go. Listen to me; those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the reapers. More info. Do quest. A mission, perhaps. The Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. My. Goodness, okay. How many side quests can we pick up? Oh my goodness, okay. You can replace my leg, right? Yes. But clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Hey, so we were right. You can get um and we were we were talking about that. We're like, why can't they get like biotic uh, like biomechanical legs into like turns out they just clone new ones it's pretty awesome cool awesome and we came through here so we're just gonna go through to ashley's here we go oh geez udina's in here are we ready to deal with udina okay i'd like an answer lieutenant commander the galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you no more than ever i still need time you'll have my answer soon i promise I look forward to it. Shepard. <laughs> Counselor. <laughs> Udina. <laughs> <laughs> Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. Trust yourself? Yeah, no, likewise. Uh, imagine replacing lost limbs with cloned organic ones instead of getting harder, better, faster, stronger ones. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, hey, we, we just go go back and look at, uh, what was it, RimWorld? There were people that were um, the transhumanists that, like, loved it whenever they had uh, implants, uh, like, replacements, and there are others that, like, couldn't handle it. Um, just like a, you know, we, we have, like, a mental attachment to... To our physical being, right? For you know, self-preservation reasons. But so some people, I imagine, just wouldn't be able to deal with having a robotic piece. However, getting a robot arm strong enough to be able to punch through a wall would be kind of cool. <laughs> just saying, you know, kind of cool. But um, I understand some people not wanting to do that. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other, or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Aww. Uh, and I'm here for you. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. 
Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. No, 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 keep going. I've got time to talk. Be careful, you can accidentally romance Ashley. It's fine. It's fine. So long as it doesn't lock us out of uh, properly romancing... I mean, I'm, she's she's in a pretty bad shape right now, and we're in a public hospital. I don't think anything untoward is going to occur at the moment here. Um, but uh, we we have we've got Liara already. Like we're we're good. Hold oh, my hand. Hey, here we go. Information. Um, but do do keep me noted there, Carson. Do keep me noted. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. You can technically romance everyone? Wait, what? You can technically romance everyone? But it'll cause conflicts? That's cr Wait, are you serious? That's insane. Now, we're, we're only going to romance Liara, because that was, that was the plan, but... We'll just shoot people down, that's all. That's fine. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's its tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. <laughs> Roger that, LC. Nice. Um, don't forget the replacement spine that allows you to actually use the other stuff without breaking it. Oh, true, yeah, you are going to need to replace your spine if you're going to do that. True, true. I mean, Shepard is already, like, 50% cyborg, right? Or I guess he's technically a cyborg because 50% of him is, like, well, maybe it's more like 20% of him is metal. Like, his spine is, um, like, fused together with metal bits and pieces. His skin is woven together with, <laughs> with metal. Um, right? Like, he's... He's he's a bionic guy and he's he seems he looks good, right? Yeah. I and mean, you can't tell when you look at him. It's all hidden under normal skin. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Oh, what a line. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Oh, that was a really good line. He looks good. He says about the man whose face is uh, mostly blue. Uh, that's just hospital lighting. Hospital lighting is always um, is always more on the blue spectrum. In ter uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just how it is. It's just fine. It's also his clothes, you know. It's, it's fine. He's got he's got his gorgeous blue eyes that you can get lost in. It's like looking into an ocean, you know. He's still looking good. Uh, we asked about your family, uh, so we'll ask about Earth next. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Nice. All right, get some rest. We're out of here. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. All right. Yay, we got some more reputation. Which I don't really know what the what reputation actually means. Right? Because it says plus two reputation. It's like, I don't know where that goes. Is that like is that like this dark blue bar here? You got like renegade, paragon, and then this is that what this dark blue bar is? Just standard 
generic reputation. Is that what that is? I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're up and out of here. Uh, let's go meet up with Arya Talok next. I feel as if she's the one we're going to want to chat with, figure out what's going on. She's going to have some uh, good information, and she'll probably end up being a war asset, yeah? Um, you don't think there's a dark blue bar? You're pretty sure uh, that it just... That's just glow? Maybe. Then... Oh, yeah, no, maybe that's just borders. Then what on earth does it mean when it says plus two rep? It doesn't show on here. We've probably gotten, like, 40 basic rep at this point. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Doc's holding area. Embassy... Okay, we're gonna go to Purgatory. Some commons. Of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Thank you. One moment, please. All right, let's go talk to Arya. He's a person who should have some good info for us. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. Welcome to Purgatory. Aw, oh, he's having a bad day, huh? We don't give you a little quest for that? Darn. Whoa, look at this guy's fins. They're like super red. Cool. I like the, the paint on his uh on his fins are pretty cool. Um You're pretty sure it's uh Paragon uh when the blue when the pop up is blue, Renegade when it's red? Maybe. I could have sworn it always said like Renegade or Paragon normally. And then Sir. Your shoulder is in my jaw. I advise you move that before it gets cut into pieces. Oh man, we're just staring deeply into each other's eyes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really touching moment. Um. Oh man, are we floating on... Yeah, I just stepped on his foot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what it did in the previous games? It might be. Uh, you never seen it as red? I think it's just like blue, white, and red. That's what I thought it was. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Hmm. Okay. My good gracious, look at all this stuff. Um, the light show stuff isn't on here. Oh wait, here we go. Prototype components and improved power grid. Find schematics for a new power grid and deliver them. My goodness, we have so many quests. It's ridiculous. We'll list over here for quests to pick up. No. See the message? I might have missed it. Uh, you can check your map in the Citadel and use uh, and to see if there's anyone to talk to. There's a bunch of people to talk to. Um, oh, we've got James on the lower floor. Down at three. Okay. Nice. Thank you. I did not know James is over here. Perfect. Thanks, Chris Engine. I was just trying to go off memory. It's probably, probably a good thing if they actually have it written out for us. Oh, awkward. Hell yeah, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thoughts. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh, have a guy's night. Uh, that awkward. <laughs> 
uh, I bet he's just like, oh man, she's gonna, she's gonna get in the way of uh, mission objectives. Wink. Um, <laughs> is that Arya over here? Looks like Arya. So yeah. you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. Oof. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing. Thank you. Wow. My pleasure. Wow. We're done here. Wow, what a flex. I did. There's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. Oh? He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. Wait, so he kicked you out? But also, that was that was one hell of a flex. Immigration officer's like, you have to come with me. And it's like, um, no. Let me just show you how much weight I've got. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you can also um, move between different floors on the map. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, but you're alive, Quebec cell. Yeah, wait, what happened? How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. Makes sense. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. Yikes. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. Good to hear. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'd like to hear it. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. True. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. True. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. I'm in. I'm in. Whatever it takes. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Oof. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? Yeah. It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Oh my goodness, Arya's just too good at this. She's too good at this game. Oh, there you go. So there was Renegade and Paragon that just popped up there. So you saw plus two Paragon, plus two Renegade. Um, so there's Paragon, Renegade, and just Reputation. So I, I, that's what I'm confused. I don't know what the Reputation means. <laughs> like, I don't understand. But there you go. So we can actually go between floors on... Oh, I see. Okay. So in the holding area, we've got... Oh my goodness. Chambers. No way. Alright, we'll have to go to the dock holding area. We can go talk to Chambers. Uh, Garrus is hanging out there. Um, Dar Darner? I don't remember Darner. Um, Edie and Joker are here at the um, Reading Place Market. Liara's hanging out at the Palace Cafe. Okay, perfect. Gotta go. We gotta. Oh my goodness, gotta talk to everyone. Same Dr. Michelle. I haven't. I didn't talk to Dr. Michelle when we were there, but she didn't. She was busy at the time, it seemed. And then Bailey, Dina, and yeah, we need to go. Okay. And then Normandy. Okay. All right, back to Purgatory. The other places to go. Uh, generic reputation increases the amount the bar is filled when keeping the 
while keeping the same ratio of paragon. Okay. Okay. So what? So what you're saying then is, uh, general reputation just increases both bars evenly, right? Because uh, it keeps the same ratio. Meanwhile, paragon is only in paragon, and renegade is only in renegade. Is that right? That's what I'm understanding. My goodness. Um, if we get a journal, how bad is it now? Oh my good gracious! <laughs> no, we have so many quests. Oh my goodness, okay. We have a lot of ridiculous quests. Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright, alright. Let's get all the Citadel stuff we can done while we can while we're here. Um, and then we'll have to go and save the, uh, the kids at the academy. Oh my goodness. Look at this, look at this bartender, she's going nuts! She is absolutely crushing it. I don't know. If, hopefully, these guys aren't waiting for uh, for a drink. Uh, but she is crushing it right now. Worse than the dancer over there. Or like anyone else on the dance floor, honestly. Okay, except the dancers in the way back. But she is just absolutely crushing it. <laughs> Can't talk to anyone here. Okay. Is there no one up here for me to talk to on the dance floor? Nah, no one on the dance floor. The lower bar. Got a bunch of dancers over here. Okay, let's go to the lower dance floor. Um, where is James? I remember Chambers wearing wearing an outfit like that. She was like breaking her arms. Is that James down here? No. The random officers. Where's James? James, where you at? Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. We were just over there. Um, that must have been one of the war assets we didn't pick up. We'll have to swing back over there. I'm gonna pick that up. What? Where's James? Lower bar. Oh, right past him? James? Yeah, oh, he's literally right here. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh huh. What did you mean then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Hmm. No, well, eventually, uh, wouldn't keep the same ratio, but basically, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I understand. You would recommend finding your crew uh, and war assets every chance you get. Uh, you'll need all you can get for the war effort. Yeah, no, so what we'll do is we'll go fly around the... Um, the galaxy and do our, our proper searches uh, in a bit here. Um, but we'll, we'll finish up Citadel stuff. We'll go do some searching in a couple of sectors, um, drop off what we picked up uh, for some of the quests around here uh, in the Citadel, because I think some of them require us picking up uh, by going and finding war assets out on in the um, in a couple of galactic clusters. And then we'll go do the, uh, the Academy one. I don't know if there's like a time... Like, I don't know which quests are time sensitive. Are all quests time sensitive? I don't really know. Do you know how the Reapers work on the galaxy map? Kind of, not really. Does it increase the... Is, is there a hidden bar of when the Reapers show up for every time you hit the scan button? Or every time you actually scan a thing? I guess it's the real question. Is it every time you hit the scan button? Or every time you find something? That's I think that's the more important thing for me to know. Pour my tea while I wait for a response. Here we go. Excellent. Uh, every time you scan, it'll attract reapers. So not if we find something, just if I hit the button. Okay, I've been pressing it too willy-nilly is the real problem. So I'll be a little more sparing with uh, how often I press the button. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. 
Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. <laughs> but I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Makes sense. I don't like it. It makes sense. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. Um, yeah. No, we should. I think we should. Give them, give them a little morale, yeah? I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Sure. Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. Cool, didn't cost us anything. But we got some rep out of it. Excellent. Alright, done and done. Let's keep on scooting. Um, see what else we got around here. Uh, ripples go away every time you do a... Um, every time a mission... Every time you do a mission to completion. Um, by mission to completion... I guess this is another time I need to ask questions on it. Is it one of these missions to complete? There's a lot of them. Or is this the priority ones? Is it any of these is when the Reapers disappear? Also, there's a uh, trick you can exploit, so to speak. If you exit one side of the planet sector and you re-enter it, uh, uh, whichever way the Normandy is facing, you'll enter the system. Yeah, I know. I was playing with that yesterday. And I used that to, to sneak in and nav a couple of things. Um, by what you mean for um, every time you complete a mission, is it any of these or is it only certain types of these? Is it only the priority mission, which is the main story mission from my understanding, or is it just any? Because look at how many of these ridiculous missions we have. We have so many. You do a mission uh, where you go to a planet for some mission, for example, uh, that N7 mission. Okay, so any mission that requires going to location and doing a thing, not picking up items. So any, like, I guess would be, like, scripted mission. Any scripted missions um, count, but not, um, not fetch quests or anything else. Okay. How do I tell the difference before, before I get myself in trouble with doing those? Is it just kind of knowing that the, these are all fetch quests here? Except this one might not be. Um, do I just need to know, or is there like a, a way to kind of... I think I just I think I just need to know. I don't think there's an easy way to tell, huh? Alright. So that's everything here. Let's go to the next section. Um, go to Grosmer, uh, Grismer, Grismuth Academy. Uh, that's on a mission timer. Do I, okay, so can I finish all the stuff in the Citadel first before going to the Academy, or do I need to do Academy right now? Can I finish all the Acad uh, all the Citadel stuff here first? Or is this uh, each time I'm talking to these guys and doing stuff like this getting me in trouble? Uh, so we've done this one, we've done that one, so we can go to the Embassy or the Holding next. You can do everything on the Citadel, that's fine. Okay, so it's only, um, do not do any other mission that requires, like, going to a place and doing a mission thing. Um, don't, don't go somewhere where there's, like, an actual, like, mission thing. Um, yeah, okay, good, good. Um, and we need to take Edie and someone else. I don't remember who the other person was. Emergency civilian housing, I see. Uh, we're definitely taking Edie. I remember someone saying we needed to take Edie for the that mission. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if Bam. that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. 
So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Nice. Snap decisions. Very nice. Um, Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. Perfect. Uh, just like the Reapers, some missions have an invisible timer that will expire after a set amount. Yikes. Okay. Brutal. Uh, it's in the, the context of the way they explain the, um, the quest. Because uh, it's like, the Reapers are on the way, they're trying to evacuate the Academy. And it's like, uh, uh, comms are down. It's like, okay, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently we can skip that. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading... The yeah, I shouldn't have picked this one. ...have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Actually, yeah, we can ask more about this. Do you have any information on purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. Nice. Okay. <laughs> How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, Relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. Mm. I don't buy it. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. Wow, good on you, Udina. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Oh, that's good. Okay. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. Hey, it's a Batarian. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Cool, so there are some Batarians that have survived, so uh, their species isn't completely gone, so long as there's... I mean, that's at least a male over there. At least there's a couple females. They might be able to be okay. Me, what was your name again? Uh, the car. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Leon? No. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, hopefully they'll be able to rebuild their civilization. Let's see. There's a good number of them here. Good number of Batarians. Look at that. Um, so just bring two classic teammates with you uh, on Shirkish. Oh, when you do. You'll love the, the banter. Two classic teammates. So, uh, definitely Liara. Liara's coming, of course. Of course, of course. Um, who else? I don't know. Some, some, so, a classic character. So, I'll have to bring, like, Garrus or, um, or something like that. We have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please just don't give up. There's a good number of Batarians here. Cool. There you go. Uh, Batarian State Arms. Uh, th thank you, computer. Um, they have the... Uh, 
Thank you, thank you, Kiosk. I appreciate that. <laughs> Garrus, yeah, I get we can take Garrus. Uh, Key Shock Harpoon Gun. Assault Rifles, Smart Choke. Oh. Hmm, Melee. Ooh, Assault Rifle Omniblade. Okay. In interesting. I guess the main question is this gun here. Um, so the curse means taking lives, this powerful sniper rifle fires a harpoon-like spike that kills- What? Causes massive internal bleeding? What? Can I get more info on this thing? It's not a very good sniper rifle? Aw, disappointing. I got excited. I was like, um... Um, I'm the guy that, like... Uh, is is very against the grain, uh, going definitely going the opposite direction of uh, many others, like in uh, standard RPGs, especially like MMO RPGs, uh, which is like even more so. I'm I'm definitely not within the majority. Um, I really like it when you like scrounge enough cash together in like the early zones of MMO RPGs to be able to go and like buy uh, common gear, you know, like uh, white colored gear instead of gray gear. Um, for like, I, I like being able to go to a shop and buy like the the sword that gives you plus two additional damage. Like the the like, I really like the feeling of that. I was just, I don't know. Most people are like, no, I want to go and kill a big thing and get a big sword and, and do cool things. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I like the I like the economy. Um, I like the scrappy economy game. I uh, use the mantis all the way through the entire game. You love the mantis. Mantis is pretty good. Wait, am I using the mantis? Can't look at my guns from here, can I? Um, I think I'm using the mantis, right? The mantis is the uh, the big shot one. No, yeah, because the other one's the viper. I'm using the mantis. Yeah, the mantis is good. Oh, hello. Oh, chambers. Oh my goodness. Oh, for a second there, I thought her hair was going white. I was like, wow, you're getting dealing with a lot of stress, huh? Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. Come here. Yeah, come here. God, I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. The Cerberus? You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Yeah, come on, come on, join us. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. Mm -hmm. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me, around me. They stuff me into that coffin and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, that would be incredibly I'm traumatic. Fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. Oh? If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. That's awesome. Okay. She's finding a new use. That's good. That's always, you know, you got to find a place to plant yourself um, when you're dealing with uh, uh, what she's gone through. Uh, having a routine, having something that makes you feel useful and good, uh, it's so important to have to ground yourself. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Makes sense. Change your identity? Now nah, she's good. I can tell you're doing good work around here. Keep it up. Thank you, Shepard. I will. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. Hey! I'll send them back to you. <gasps> oh, I need to run. Please be careful. 
Oh, she just literally just vanished into thin air. Chambers, you're the best. Oh my goodness, we, Chambers, Chambers kept our fish. Oh, there she is, she's over here now, okay. <laughs> no, that's not Chambers. Where'd Chambers go? I don't know. Um, but she saved our fish. That's amazing, she actually saved our fish, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna, so we're gonna, we have all the fish back in our, uh, back in our cabin now, that's great. We're playing cards over here. Map. Okay. Um, five. Over here. Here's where we got Garrus. Okay. Still moving our way over there. Ah. A uh, Derner. Garrus must be somewhere down there, I guess. Check over here first, I guess. Might as well. Unless there's nothing over here. Nope. Nothing over here. Take stuff in these medical stations? Nope. Okay. Oh, Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Garrus here, and we got a sales clerk. Oh my goodness, it's the Shepherd VI! <gasps> oh my goodness. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepherd. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. Nice. They need to work in the voice, but nice. Here's Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Yikes. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. They still fight or minimize their suffering? Yeah, they still able to fight? Can we patch them up? Get them back into the fight? Maybe a few, though it'd be pretty much a death sentence. Mm. We're all facing a death sentence. Better a soldier goes down fighting than waited out here. A lot of them would agree, but my people are running low on guns, ammo, transports. Oh, true. We have to ration it out to the troops who are still healthy. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I felt better, yeah. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Oh yeah, don't I know it. That's from Alright, sales clerk. You have a copy of a Shepherd VI? Oh yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kids spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Okay. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Too true. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? Okay, come on now. Don't be a Debbie Downer. My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. <laughs> okay. That makes a lot more sense. 7%. Also known as just randomly guessing. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Okay. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. No. Always nice to see you. I'm a fish person, thank you. Hey again. Hello. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? I'll right back at you. Don't be a stranger. Won't. I don't really sound like that, do I? <laughs> thank you, Shepard. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Yes, I imagine that's everything there. Okay. And that's that. Let's go talk to you. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. Whoa, come on now. For my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. 
Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. Ooh, I don't think I can kill him. We need everyone alive. People dead is the one person dead is one less person with a pistol against the Reapers. Not much, but maybe something. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. I don't think I can just go around killing people. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Arya? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. I can do that. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. <laughs> Save the soft shot. Yeah, like, it's the same thing. I don't see the distinction. All right, I'll take it. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you. Needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, All right. I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time. I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that I'm going to sleep with him. We all have our delusions. <laughs> All right, good. All right, glad to hear that. Excellent. All right. We don't have to kill him. And uh, she's holding her authority down a whole lot better than that guy made it sound. Excellent. Good, good. Um, so, Garrus is the only one left here, so there's no one left in the holding area we need to go to. Alright, so we definitely need to go to the Presidium Commons then. We've got Edie, Joker, we've got Oraka, we've got Liara, who we need to catch up with and maybe have a little cafe date, I guess. I don't know. And Gnarl? Who, who's Gnarl? Don't know, Narl. Also, looks like there's a couple of kiosks here we can take a look at. It's a bank. Maybe we can get something out of the bank. Who knows? Um, already been here. Already been here. We also need to go to the embassies. Okay. So, yeah. Embassy and uh, the commons are left that we need to go to. Let's go to the commons next. Go to embassies last. <laughs> Always want to deal with Odina last if we can't help it. <laughs> deal with Odina and then leave immediately. Go do something that the uh, palate cleanse. Destination. One moment, please. For the comments. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Alright, let's go talk to Avina real quick. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Presidium Commons. You are on the main promenade of the shopping galleria. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance, or for information about our special promotion, talk to me, or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Um, yes? What's this promotion you mentioned? Producer Jean-Marie Aranisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's military... Blasto! Audio excerpts of Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. Oh, nice. Where can I check this out? To listen to excerpts, simply go to the Features Hallway and find the Blasto 6 Partners in Crime Publicity Panel. Alright, we gotta go track that down. It's Blasto. Alright, local features. What else is in the area? The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Recently, new biometric systems have been added to assess the specific needs of your species. Okay. Biometric systems? Sounds more like a security measure. These simple and confidential systems are in place for the safety of all visitors to the Presidium. We respect your privacy, Commander Shepard. To opt out, please visit the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Oh, huh, okay. Um, human flora and fauna? Yeah. 
place feels familiar. The sounds, the smells. It's like being back on Earth. The current decoration budget was approved by Ambassador Asoba, the human representative for Earth on the Citadel. Each species granted ambassadorial rights on the Citadel can apply for a slot on the decoration schedule to change the promenade and parks below. Hmm. The only condition is that the proposed environmental features not be toxic to species living on the Citadel. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, other Citadel areas? Nope. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Alright, thanks, Avina. Um, rapid transit. Normandy in the, okay. Cool, so we can use that. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Wife and mistress. Ooh. Oh. Ugh. Brutal. That guy's out there fighting a war, you know, focusing on defending his. Oh. Want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. Yeah, I agree. Just you two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med-10 volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Yeah, we. the last, the last thing you want is inexperienced civilians trying, uh, with, with like, essentially literally zero training, um running around in a space war it's like that's not that's not a good idea it's it's a space war okay um you need extreme coordination if you're going to be dealing with places where you know you can't breathe so yeah having them help and defend medical um medical personnel that'd be a good idea overcharging for goods denying refugees basic services it seems the reapers took our culture when they took our world the Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Oh, wow. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world. And now, our people have lost their way. Oh, the Volus are like... Wow, I was always under the assumption that the Volus were like super cutthroat. But the fact they're just like, uh, forgive debts and like during wars, like that's, that's amazing. Okay. Um, Alana exports. Concentration mod. Um, thought we already had a concentration mod. No. Increased damage, speed. Oh my goodness. Damage. If damage is damage, I'll take it. Uh, enhanced scope. We have a basic scope. Increased accuracy by twenty percent and helps aim through sp <gasps> through smoke. Cool. We can also buy some koi fish, which. I mean. Yeah, we're going to buy the koi fish. Uh, <laughs> priorities. It's all about priorities, all right? It's all about priorities. Um, SMG mag. So the, the enhanced scope sounds pretty good. 4,000 for that? It's pretty good. Uh, I don't know what our current one is. I'm assuming it's like 15 or 10%. Koi fish are pretty. They really are. Um, I actually know someone who ate koi fish, and apparently they are not for eating. <laughs> apparently they are very disgusting. Don't do that. Um... But yeah, uh, what else is I talking about? There's something else I was talking about with, um, I got interrupted by these guys talking, but I cannot recall what it was, blanking on it. All right, um, who's this? This is the bank, right? Oh my goodness, it's, uh, Bar Levon. Didn't we talk with him in Mass Effect 1? I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. You're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Okay. Not awkward. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Woohoo! 
Oh, that gun. I think it looks fierce. Does it get plasma SMG? With a Punisher. Oh my goodness. The Executioner pistol, which looks amazing, by the way. Striker assault rifle, shredder mod, like caliber, service. So you have service armor? Why do you have service armor? Okay. Wait, what? Aquarium VI? <gasps> it's 25,000 credits, though. With so many exotic fish, uh, species of fish available in the uh, today's galactic market, it takes an expert to maintain the ideal aquarium. Uh, this VI, VI automatically dispenses food, adjusts temperature, pH, and algae content in the water, and even talks to the fish when you're not around, leaving you free to enjoy your aquatic friends without fear of killing them. Do so I have to buy this? Do I have to buy this? Oh my goodness, we are going to buy this, though. The Ultra Light Pistol Material. This is good. We do need to reduce our weight. Obviously, I think I do actually need to buy this because I've killed my fish way too many times. And Well, I, too many times. I killed them once. And Chambers just gave us fish and we just bought koi fish. It's just 25,000 credits. It's a lot. But we are 100% getting this, though. I do want the 30% lightened. We need that. Once it's already too many times, it is. It's It scars your mind. It scars your... It, you know, right? I honestly feel like this is worth buying. I'm <laughs> like, how? What? This game is so bad for me. I honestly feel like buying this is worth it. I cannot believe that I feel like buying this is actually worth it. It's 25,000 credits. It's so much money. It's so much money. It's two, it's two guns. Do it? Only the best for your fishies? Hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I need it. I need that VI. It's crucial. It's critical. It must happen. Um, we'll find more money. It's fine. People said it was hard to buy every gun. And there are clearly guns like the SMGs and the like that I'm not gonna buy anyway. So that's okay. Um, this anti-synthetic rifle. Alliance Marines issued the uh, what's called rifle sense technology is not firing in its barrel. Uh, since technically it is not no rifling in barrel, yeah, it's not really a rifle. Yeah. Okay. Something else I need here. Um, oh, the guest plasma SMG is your favorite. Okay. We'll come back to buying more guns later. Um, it's not a high priority for me right now. The guns that we have are pretty good for the moment. We'll focus on guns later. I, I kind of want to focus on more of the mods. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers pass. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. There you go. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got war assets from that? That's just so cool. We've been picking up all these little war assets going around here just chatting with people. I love this. I love this. Because, like, my need to talk to, like, overhear all conversations, talk to everyone, pick up all the lore we can possibly get is actually paying off. It's amazing. Um, two is to the apartments. Three is... Ah, the cafe. All right. Where's our darling? All right, Liara, where are you at? Also, what are these? Pigeons? Some sort of weird... It's definitely pigeon coloring. You can see there's that stripe on the wing right there off the uh, the top of Shepard's head. It's very clearly a rock pigeon um, adaptation. They used a rock pigeon as the base for the drawing of that one. Huh. Cool. Oh? Ah, there's the, there's the general. Uh, before we get to you, I have maybe an accidental uh, lunch date. Maybe? Liara? There she is. There she is. 
still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? Well, how could I forget? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. True. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. I like her thinking with that last one there. Fun fact, uh, shots, like buckshot, is um, catastrophically less accurate than a rifled barrel. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Rifling on a barrel, like... Increases accuracy by a ridiculous amount. It's insane. That's why rifling is so important and used in like even pistols. Did I read that wrong? Shot, meaning like things like butt shot, is cataclysmically less accurate. Oh, with rifling. Oh, yeah. No, that. Okay. Thank you. Let me clarify. And how I'm how I got confused. Buckshot is not as accurate as a rifle, right? A rifle with rifling is more accurate than a shotgun with buckshot. But you're right. Um, a shotgun with rifling doesn't help with buckshot because since buckshot is shooting multiple pellets, having rifling will interfere with pellet trajectory because of the grooves in the, in the barrel. Right? Because that'll just spin them off in random directions. You actually want just a, just a tube. You want a solid tube for buckshot. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Okay, I gotcha. Totally read it wrong, but yes, you're right. Makes sense. Um, You should relax more? No, good thinking. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. I just did. Okay, I'll talk to him again. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Perfect. I'm in. Rep two. Hello, Shepard. Nothing else? <gasps> oh, can I at least get you a coffee or something? Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness, Robman. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, that's why shotguns are typically uh, smooth bore. Yeah. Now nah, that makes that makes sense because again, like the pellets will get caught in the um, uh, in the rifling. I mean. All things considered, it could actually just... Uh, having rifling in the barrel of a shotgun could actually do damage to the barrel of the shotgun each shot you use. Um, let's go talk to this guy here. Captain's Log? Let me talk to uh, Barlavon real quick, and we'll do a Captain's Log. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Yeah, I tried to talk to you earlier. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. I didn't forget. Financial advice. I remember Mass Effect One. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Oh, I remember you. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. Yep. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. Yes, they have. The team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper controlled territory. Rescue the guards. And they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Oh, I know. I I know the Shadow Broker does. Wink. We've seen her a few times in our cabin. Right? Wink. Yeah? <laughs> uh, thanks. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Yeah, makes sense. All right, so we're going to have to do that sooner than later. Darn, okay. Um, yeah, Liara, who we were just talking to, she's a shadow broker now. <laughs> and we're romancing her. So, uh, yeah, we, we have a feeling the shadow broker's on our side. Um, the captain's log? Captain's log. Commander Shepard had to flee... Uh, had to flee Earth back in our first play, uh, first stream of playing this. Fooling around on the Citadel, sorting things out, and finally going out to deal with some missions. 
After completing a couple of missions, we've landed ourselves back here on the Citadel to go clean up some political nonsense. Uh, talk to the random locals, grab as many assets as we can, and get right back out there to the fight. Um, we are currently need to go talk to this guy and discourage him from harassing... I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca. Right? Oh my goodness, yeah! Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Yeah! Um, so two things real quick. Uh, we need to go talk to him just to tell him to stop harassing uh, mercenaries so we can get the mercenaries to join us on our team and go do things. Um, and these two were the ones that were worried about having a child because she has a genetic disorder in her family line some sort of neurological degenerate, uh, degenerative disorder uh, that they were worried were going to be affecting the child um, and would need medication for, which I believe did come to pass. And he does have it, and they do need the medication for it. Um, oh man, like from game to game to game, running into them, it's amazing. I really like it. I really like that they did that. Um, there's, uh, they're not always smooth war, really. Uh, in some cases, uh, you've seen having a widespread being beneficial but typically a rifled shotgun barrel is meant for firing slugs yeah because it's one big piece i guess maybe if you had like rifling in like for birdshot when you want like the biggest possible um ridiculous spread you can possibly get um maybe that makes sense but we'll go talk to them now let's go talk to um haraka here real quick commander shepherd General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Oh, yes! Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. Yeah. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I remember this guy. He was so drunk. Here you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding C-Sec weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Hmm, I see. Okay, so if we can get him the guns, then we can sort that out. And that'll, that's probably easy. We can probably get that done. Um, but yeah, he was, uh, this was Mass Effect 1. We were told by the... Oh, I can't remember what the Asari's name was. She retired. She was a, um... She, like, consoled people. And to, like, um... I can't remember what her name was. But she had, like, an office and whatnot that we went and... Uh, did a couple of missions for her in uh, Mass Effect 1. Um, your thinking is when you want a widespread for a shotgun uh, is if you're trying to, say, shoot two people at once. I mean, it's not as effective, but, I mean, you can. If you have cryo ammo, that would make it better, right? Um, which is, in fact, the purpose of Blunderbuss. Yeah, Blunderbuss is supposed to just, like... Um, a Blunderbuss is not necessarily a kill with one shot, but more of a incapacitate... Uh, wound and uh, like disorient with one shot. It's, it's its objective is not to just instantly take down your target, but uh, more of like hit as much as you can, and if you can get a couple shots off, then eventually we'll take them down. Oh yeah, we'll get you the weapons. Don't worry. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Okay, who do we need to go talk to now? Black Market Arms. Um, it's probably going back over to that guy. That's the Volus. I imagine, yeah? Let's go back to the Volus real quick. Right, that would be the person we need to talk to. Oh no, here we go. Connect just popped up. Go to Connect. The objective of the blunderbuss was to take uh, down as many people as po uh, in one shot as possible, since you typically only had one shot. Yeah, because you, you had to reload it like an old school rifle, yeah. 
Oh, there's Edie. Uh, where's Joker? He's sitting over there. There's Edie. Okay. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Oh my goodness, she sounds really so on it. Management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oof. Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. Racist. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Racist. Um, sporting goods. Uh, gun, SMG, lights, caliber, a model citadel. It's only a thousand bucks. Oh, I think we're gonna need to get that. Ooh, increased headshot damage. Pistol, cranial trauma system number one. <gasps> increased power damage. Increase headshot lethality by balancing rifle calibration so the ammo piercing uh, ammunition pierces bone and explodes in soft tissue. Ooh, this sounds like something I definitely need since I'm a headshot focus kind of guy. Shoot smart. Shoot. No definitely buying this though. <laughs> um, we'll have to come back. I can't recall what the um, what uh, mods we had for our pistol yet. I want to go take a look at what we have in the pistol right now before we go further. Oh, that's the Black Arms Dealer. Is the Black Arms Dealer? Oh, no, sick. Okay. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or anything. I just want my money. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? Uh. That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I looked here just to see what this was, and this is a munitions store. You seriously sell toaster ovens here? I'm very curious. Why do you sell toaster ovens here? <laughs> okay. Shotgun, pistol scope, which increases accuracy by 15%. Ooh, that's very nice. Simple two times optical scoping enhances ability, uh, stability. When zoomed, increases accuracy while moving and taking damage. Scope, heat sink. Please obey all local government Each round has a 25% chance of not using a thermal clip. Wow. It's actually pretty good, but we're not using the SMG. Ultra light materials for the sniper rifle. Not only 8%? Come on, really? Only 8%? I don't know if I'm actually going to take the uh, the light materials for the sniper rifle. I actually prefer having the offensive mods on this one. So we have the pistol light um, light materials mod, and then we could use the headshot light ma uh, the headshot material or the headshot mod. Um, so we only have two. The almost certainly issue is that they in fact do not sell toaster ovens here. That makes a lot of sense, Alcer. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> But I, th I think he hit the nail on the head there. All right, Kanek. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. What do you mean? So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, and it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. Uh, yeah, what do you take? 
So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Hmm. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. I don't have any artifacts yet. Okay. Let's we'll go track down some artifacts for him. All right, Joker. What's going on over here? Oh. Oh, same same conversation, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. Thanks, Joker. <laughs> These people have no idea. Yeah, they're in, they're in denial. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible. Safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Yeah, I see you, Joker. I see you, Joker. That's so good, though. It's like a perfect cover. That's amazing. It's such a perfect cover. Oh, that's just so good. Like, he's able to just cover for Edie so perfectly. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. Hi. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me. Yes. But he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> How do you know when someone is romantically invested? <laughs> okay, yep, so these are the questions that uh, the Joker's been uh, trying to avoid. Uh, and clearly, Edie was paying attention on all of the cameras in the cab in the in the captain's cabin. Clearly, um, it also makes sense. She's asking us instead of Liara. Um, they pay attention. Uh, not touching that subject. Oh no, no, we'll touch that subject for sure. They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents. Maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's <laughs> not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. There you go. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Uh, your company. Yeah, your company's what matters. That's what your company is all that really matters for him. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Yes. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. So she actually wants to woo Jeff. That is amazing. That's so good. I, that's... I'm so... It's such an interesting... Okay. This is so interesting. The dynamic. Because, again, they were like an old married couple since since Edie popped up in Mass Effect 2. So it's just... It feels natural for them to suddenly just be, you know... A couple. Especially since he was essentially married to the ship since he ever started piloting it. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. 
Oh, the Indra. I think we actually played with the M90 in, uh, Indra before. Stunner. Oh, melee stunner. Oh, I thought it was like actually would stun them, but no, it just does more damage. Uh, piercing, mag, uh, thermal. Oh, we can also buy this here. Yeah, I'll buy that real quick. Um, a low power scope leaves it most effective at mid range. The most uh, soldiers believe its limitation is offset by the gun's rapid fire rate. I would just like to see what its damage output is before buying any of these things. But I think I'll still stick to the Mantis for now. Um. Okay, so let's go over to uh, Narl then. We talk to them. Uh, we're gonna have to go and sort out getting artifacts. So we need to go and do some scouting uh, in the galaxy. So we'll definitely have to go do that next. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Hmm. What's down here? Is this just another area? See if there's anyone else we can listen into? This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, CSEC. Hello. No? Okay. Nothing there, and that brings us all the way back around over here. Okay. So I think that's all the conversations we can get out of this area. So let's move on back. Apartments, I think we're over here, right? That way. Ah. Hmm. Okay. A little pessimistic, but you know, maybe realistic. Who knows? Alright, uh, we can check out that way. Let's check this way first. Is there anything up here on this side? Anyone we can listen over, uh, listen into? Eavesdrop? No? Just, just doors that go nowhere with no buttons to open? Okay. Alright, we're loading. We don't know what we're loading, but we're loading. What about up here? Oh, is he on the floor? Is he, like, unconscious on the ground? What? Blackstow 6, Partners in Crime. Oh my goodness, it's an Elcor and a Hanar. Nice. <laughs> oh man, the Blasto franchise. Oh, we have to go find the kiosk. Oh yeah, activate. Blasto movie. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. <laughs> Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here in a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Quit. 
Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Creek pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. Sir. Sure. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. Nice. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Oh, I didn't even get an option. We just okay. Not him. Grills next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes, yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Good, good. Man, there's spine advice. Don't double cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Smart. Uh huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. All right. Whoa! We got Krenz, we got Paragon, and we got uh, Renegade out of that. Crazy. Okay. And standard, <laughs> standard rep. Okay. I got a little bit of everything. Or no, it's experience, not Renegade. We got Paragon out of that. Weird. Okay. We <laughs> we just shot a Vortune Cold Blood, and <laughs> we got Paragon. All right. Um, there's one more place we need to go to, right? Uh, so we went here. We need to, we need to come back for these guys after I go and get things for Karnik. Um, we also need to come back once we've gone and saved those guys. Uh, the mercenaries. Um, James, Arya. No, nothing here. Okay, so we need to go to embassies next. Embassies, and then we go save the... Um, the university students, and then we'll go try and save the um, the mercenaries. We'll go do that. Oh, <laughs> Automod doesn't like you saying I'll kill you. <laughs> you get Paragon for choosing I'll trust you instead of I'll kill him, or I'll kill you, if you're lying. Let me go ahead and allow that. Automod's like, I'll kill you. <gasps> you can't say that on Twitch. It's like you're literally copying, pasting what's said on the game. It's fine. Calm down, Automod. It's all right. Um, emphases. <laughs> Okay, but that makes that makes sense, Elsers. I gotcha. It just seemed weird. Also, we had no options. We just did the thing. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's possible that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. He has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but. Please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Mm. Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. Yeah, true. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Ah. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Perfect. Okay, so that, um, so for this one, uh, that's pretty, oh my goodness, the mission, the mission state, look at how many missions we picked up, it's insane. Um, I don't think it's on here. 
The strength, priority, yeah, it's not on here. But um, for that one, oh, bending evidence? Here it is. Find evidence of the sun. Uh, for this one, we probably just need to go back to um, purgatory, I imagine, right? If we go to the purgatory map, I'm assuming we go to the lower bar, because uh, we were talking to some people over there. Said uh, the squad was drinking, so that's probably where we need to go. Anyone else to talk to, listen to, anything else? No? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. Um, anyone else over here? It doesn't seem like there's new ones that pop up. Oh, it's her again. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna stick around there. She's a uh, old one with Alzheimer's. Keeps coming back and asking. Ah, there he is. Uh, then Bailey is inside, and then uh, we go over and take a look at the guns, right? In here. Right? Wasn't this the place at the kiosk for... Yeah, it was. Uh, requisition, Spectre Terminal. Uh, military pardons for Normandy engineers. Oh, here we go. Someone was talking about this. Uh, military pardons for Normandy engineers. Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel and are working for, uh, for working for service. We need to get them out immediately. Immediately, we gotta do it. Daniels and Donnelly uh, surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was tuned, uh, turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were uh, motivated purely to help the fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection with the terrorist organization. Spectre Authorization can offer Daniels and... Okay, can offer Daniels and uh, Donnelly, uh, Gabby and Ken, full pardon and reinstate them aboard Donnelly. Uh, Authorize. Authorized. Get them on my ship. Right now. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, nice, nice. Perfect. Yeah, I need I need those two on our ship. We need their banter. We do badly. We badly need their banter. Anything to brighten the mood on Normandy, please. A little too doom and gloom over there. No, we're at war, but like you know, a little something. All right. So is this Udina? This is Udina, right? Two, two is Udina. All right. We'll talk to Bailey first. Um, Jordan. Oh, this is for the Eclipse. Let's do this one first. Commander Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting oh, no. that high-level hammer start. officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? What? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. Mm. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Okay. Kasumi, you're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. Yeah. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. Yeah. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, is Kasumi going to pop up out of nowhere? So, yep. remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? Yeah, I had a feeling. The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, 
Maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Please do. Oh my goodness. Of course Kasumi's already here. Of course she is. Come on, Kasumi, let's go. Um, what was it, terminal? Alright. Hanar Embassy Tracking. Uh, Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transmit record, uh, transit records, and personal communications for all employees of the Hanar Embassy. Uh, to avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Okay. Uh, nav points of console and access points with relevant information will be tagged to the Spectre's Omni tool. Enable. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> that is, that's so good. That's so good. Alright, what do we need to go for this? Um, terminal, number four. Back up here. Embassy offices. Okay. Alright, come on, Kasumi. It's Bailey. We'll talk to Bailey after this. Um, that's so funny. Uh, terminal. Terminal? Or terminal. Offices where? Uh, in an earlier stream, you questioned why in-universe cloaking uh, would prevent your shields from regenerating. Yes, I did ask that. Uh, logically, the answer is that the energy that would be going to recharging your shield uh, is going to making you invisible instead. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's just disappointing. Gets him away. Is this not the terminal? Where am I supposed to go? Terminal's four. What? Terminal. Where? Maybe around over here? There's the terminal. Okay. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? What? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. True. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. True. <laughs> True. Uh, and we also went and uh, had you climb through the tubes into Reaper space. If that's true. Nah. Um, so wait, where do I need to go now? Uh, terminal. Security checkpoint number one here in holding area. All right. We'll have to swing back around to that one next. Let's go talk to uh, Bailey first. Uh, get this one sorted. Uh, Kasumi, you can just kind of follow behind us while we go sort this one out, or you can meet us over the holding cell, or the holding area. Bye. And just pretended she left. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. True. But there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. Hmm. Well, I still need to sort out. Hey, how's it going, Pancake? Welcome back. You're late. Did you buy new guns? No, we haven't bought new guns, but I bought a fish VI system for 25,000 credits. <laughs> a couple of models, a couple of uh, modifications, uh, mods for the guns. Um, and we're just doing a whole bunch of Citadel quests. We've not left the Citadel yet. We showed up at the Citadel at the beginning of the stream, and we've been at the Citadel the whole time. Uh, just slowly getting through all the side quests that I like here. Getting things set up and done. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. 
No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. Yeah, let me see her. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Okay. To the terminal. Oh, that's a different terminal. Alright, not that one. Okay. Um. Guess we need to talk to Udina. Ugh. I was hoping we could talk to Udina last, but we'll just, we'll, we'll get it out of the way. All right, Udina, you've been doing some good stuff, so I, I can't quite hate you as much as I used to, but um, I, I still don't like you that much. Let's see if you can redeem yourself a little bit here. My goodness, the number of wine glasses in your office, man. You really gotta get this sorted. <laughs> gotta be drinking a little bit less. All right. Yeah, he's got one here. He's got three over there. He's got another, what, um, three over here. Good gracious, man. Oh, my goodness. This has got his coffee and or tea over here. That's good. Respect. The important things? Yeah. We're doing all the important things right now, Pancake. Um, oh, we already does something to talk to him about. I should go. I'll be here. Oh. Nice. Cool. As a diplomat during the apocalyptic war, uh, you're impressed uh, with the room's cleanliness. I know, right? It's a little too clean. A little suspicious. Hmm. Okay. Um, what was it? Holding area? Good holding area. Alright, Kasumi. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Emergency. Val, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. <laughs> uh, ugh. I'm not really touching that conversation, huh? All right. Um, oh man, we got actually a handful of eclipse marks over here. Crazy. Okay. Uh, where to? Uh, terminal four. Ah, I know where that terminal is. What the? It's an arrow. Oh my goodness! What? The terminal's below us. The beautiful city. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black. Dust and ash. The giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Yeah, when humans get nervous, they talk a lot. Sorry, Batarian. <laughs> it's just, it's a human thing. Um, did you find Kelly, uh, in the Engineers? Also having her, uh, keep the gray box is probably a bad idea in hindsight. Yeah, it looks like she's kind of detached herself from, you know, the actual physical world. It's probably not the best. Ah, uh, there's that terminal, so I thought. Um, weird, it also says there's a terminal down there, so that's kind of weird. Let's sort that one out. Um, so we found Kelly Chambers. Yeah, we chat with Kelly Chambers. The engineers, we just pardoned... We, when we were over in the Spectre office, we just pardoned uh, Gabby and Ken. But oh my goodness, dude. Like, we're gonna just... We're looking long into each other's eyes again. What's going on here? Different one. Similar type of markings. Um, but uh, I, I don't know if that just means that Gabby and Ken pop back onto the Normandy, or if I have to go track them down somewhere. We've pardoned them, at least. I've got a list of new Hanor arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. Mm. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out. Oh. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. I know. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. <laughs> it's true. 
she kept uh, hanging out in cloaked mode, spying on Jacob while he was doing his workout routine. I mean, hey, she might actually be interested in James for all we know. Um, but uh, James has a little more um, personality. <laughs> all right, where's that next terminal? Uh, terminal checkpoint one. Okay, so just come back over here. Uh, have you talked to all the refugees? Yeah, we talked to all the ones that were around here. Bow, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. Mm. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Perfect. Uh, where is his office? Um... See sick junk? Yeah, no, I'll come back to that one later. Um, office office suites. Over here. Oh, okay, it's right next to that terminal you were just at. Okay, cool, cool. We'll go do that. Perfect. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Uh, you wonder if anyone accidentally bumps into her? I think she's probably nimble enough to keep staying out of the way, but if we go into a really busy area, she probably might run into, <laughs> actually bump into people. Um... You thought there would be someone in one of those crates? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Kelly Chambers. We talked to her. She was in one of the crates. Uh, we talked to her already. She had our fish. She had all of our fish. She saved our fish from the Normandy. So we need to go back to the Normandy and see all of our fish. We also bought some koi fish and a AI to make sure that they're fed. Because, um... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, because, uh, you know, we don't remember to feed them. Because I don't know what the time... How often we have to feed them. I don't know how often we have to do that. So, it's only 25,000 credits. Like, a lot of money. That's okay. Alright, pal. Oh, there she is. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. So he thinks that... So, okay. So the... the Okay. So the indoctrination probably got him to thinking that this, what he was hearing was the sounds of the Enkindlers. Hey, how's it going, Temple Shrimp? How are you doing today? Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Interesting logic jump, but understandable. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jelly. Uh, Shepard. No, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Thanks, Kasumi. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're under arrest. You're insane. And we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. Shepard. Help him. I'll handle this. Right, Shepard just walks over there casually. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. Got it. Upload's disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down. Oh, well, that's not good. Unconscious and invisible. She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. Wait, she, she just died? Arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor with a few friends. Did she just die? Are we just glossing over the fact she's just dead now? Oh no, she faked her death. You can come out now. Alright. How'd you know? Took a second. Lucky guess. 
There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. True. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. <laughs> I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Oh, that's so that's so good. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of reputation. A bunch of experience too. So yeah, Kasumi, we also got the Spectre unit asset acquired. Nice. Henar and Drell forces as well? Oh my good gracious. Wow, that was a huge mission. Nice. But good to Kasumi, oh my goodness, good gracious lady. Alright. Um uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, if Kasumi dies in Mass Effect 2, uh, you have to make a choice uh, if you're saving Bao or stopping the virus. Oh, really? Well, that's great, so we got both then. Oh, so we would lose either the um, the Drell and Hanar forces, or we would lose the Spectre units. I see, I see. Kasumi's going to run off uh, with all those uh, crypto GPUs. She will. Yeah, so many uh, RTX uh, 60,090s. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Go crazy. Um, where do we need to go for Bailey? For Bailey's mission? Who do we need to talk to again? We need to talk to... This one. See sec. Location number five. Okay. Man, this is just going to be a Citadel episode, isn't it? <laughs> it's just going to be a full Citadel stream. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. All we're going to do is Citadel stuff today. We'll probably be able to leave in a bit here. We're almost done with everything. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. It is. You better call him. Risking his life. You better call him. More than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call yes. so I can do it face to face. Yes. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. For goodness sakes. This wife and mistress, serious problems. <laughs> Guy's out there risking his life. Oh my goodness. Uh, did you give advice to Kelly to stay safe? Um, I th think so. I don't think I specifically said stay safe, though. I think there was an option to say that. At a time like this. What's your name, dear? Um, Sarah? Sarah, have you ever heard of Elkos Combine? Sure. Don't they make, um, everything? Pleasure to meet you. What a subtle flex. Well done. Well done. To bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything. I don't want to talk about it. Yep, understandable. Um, but Pancake, I think I told her to be uh to be safe, but I don't or there's an option for that. We asked if she wanted to join us again, and she she explained very clearly and very understandably why she couldn't join us back on the Normandy. So, um, you'd guess that a crowd dense enough uh, for Kasumi to be uh, liable to bump into someone, she would uh, either avoid getting into, or maybe people wouldn't really think much. Yeah, true. I think she would mostly just avoid. Uh, I mean, she does a lot of like catwalk running, right? She'd probably just run around in the. Uh, the upper areas and the like. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Thank you. Arya's in 
indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. You killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. I'll leave it in the past, lady. Come on, we got better things to do. You have to move on. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Oh, jeez. We need her, but she's going to murder so many people. And we're on that as well. Check in with her dudes. Yeah, I think maybe her third or fourth in command. If her second in command is uh, weak-wheeled toady, uh, some, someone, there's always someone in the ranks somewhere who has either the aspirations or the skill to take over. There always is. Um, so long as, you, as long as there's a group of ten... There's always at least one. So we can definitely do that. Ari's in charge anyway. True. Yeah, we'll find another way. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Thank you. Alright, one paragon. Or two paragon. We're gonna have to go talk to her troops. Where on earth are we gonna find her troops, though? Um, here you go. Saying perfect. Cargo hold A. My goodness, we're just bouncing all over the Citadel, aren't we? Uh, but yeah, Arya's the only one using true control here. Honestly, what's going to end up happening is it's just going to be three branches of one true full military organization, or er, a mercenary organization, not military, well, kind of, of a mercenary organization run by Arya <laughs> to Sony. Welcome, Commander I'm actually okay with that. A I'm actually, like, perfectly okay with, with Arya to Sony having control over them. Like, full control over the different ones, because she would do... She's smart about what she's doing. Like, I actually trust her being in charge of, like, especially the Blood Pack. Oh my goodness, if she was in true control of the Blood Pack, would be great. Or Talok. Sorry, to Sony's Liara. Excuse me. Thank you. Talok. Arya Talok. Uh, five is all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you get what the triggers for the DLC, you should try to leave all of those for next to last. The DLCs? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what the DLCs are. You probably don't want to mix the two up? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. We can mix the two up when we're talking to ourselves. We just can't mix the two up when we're talking to Arya or uh, Liara. We'll just, we'll just talk to them by their first name. It'll solve the problem. It's fine. No worries. <laughs> we just... When we talk to people about them, we'll talk about their first name. Uh, we'll just keep their last name in our own mind. I mean, you can romance both of them. I Wait, what? You can romance Arya? Are you serious? That sounds like problems. <laughs> that sounds like we're just asking for trouble. Got a report that another ship made it off Palavin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. This is going to be home for a while. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. I gotcha. Um... If you wait, if you romance no one else, you can romance Arya. That's crazy. If it was a full romance, ah, a little disappointing, but uh, eh, not worth it. Fun fact: um, nothing ever gives plus one reputation. Really, in any direction? Really, it's only ever two. Crazy. Okay. Um, then you kill her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You don't need her. Saying you should run Eclipse. You can do it. 
Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. That's sorted out. Two Paragon. Nothing else? Didn't we didn't get a completion or anything? Oh my good gracious. <laughs> all these quests. Oh no, this is all secondary. Okay, sorry. All these quests. Um Arya, we only have Eclipse left. Um no no, Eclipse is still here. Uh speak to Commander Bailey, uh, and then gain allegiance. Wait, what? I'm confused. We already did it, though. Blue Suns, we need to go deal with them. Yeah, we need to sort that out. But... Wasn't that sorted? Didn't we just do that? Isn't that done? Do I need to go talk to Arya? Yeah, it's in the school killer. Yeah. I say Don Garrus. Throwing his way around exactly how he needs to. Um, so I guess we'll go and talk to Arya. I mean, we figured out the blood pack at the very least, so we'll go talk to her about that. Um, I don't really know, like, do we have to go talk to Bailey again, or...? Wow. There we go. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Sorted. <laughs> we didn't have to do anything else. Uh, it only wait, what? Okay, so when we get reputation, it only comes in two, four, five, seven, or fifteen. Who well, on the development team decided to have it be in such weird number groups? It's really weird. Why not one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen? And then that way you could have it be an even round number without him doing any crazy math. Bizarre. There's literally only one instance of seven reputation. Weird. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Weird. Okay, so Garrus. Um, we'll probably go talk to Arya. I think everyone else is done. Yeah. I think we're done with everything else. Let's go talk to Arya at the very least, though. One moment. I want to go see if she's got any extra dialogue for us before we leave. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Oh, there's that, uh... Hey, all you skinny chappers. Get drunk or get dancing. <laughs> nice. Um, interesting that there's, like, a rapid, uh, transit. Yeah, we're talking to them. Um, oh yeah, we want to go talk to... Man, they re he really does not want her to join them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, trying to think what I was going to say. Oh uh, yeah, there's that rapid transit terminal over there right next to the elevator. It makes no sense they're right there. This marine just wants uh, to grill. I know, right? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, dance floor, there's no one up here for us to talk to that we care about. Uh, let's jump back down here and see if we can talk to the soldiers and get some information about the missing kid. Was it these guys? It's gonna be the other ones then. Was it these guys? No, it was them. I can't talk to them about anything. Okay. No. James, anything new? I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Nah, you do the you do your thing. All right. Uh, Purgatory is not Afterlife uh, from uh, Mass Effect Two, but it is still a pretty cool nightclub. Yeah, I like the design in here. The tunes are pretty good, too. Alright, Arya, let's chat. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? Let's get a rundown on some things here. Uh, you're guessing it's actually only 2, 5, and 15, and Wiki is counting multiple, uh, multiple choices given. Ah, I see. 
a two and five for a total of seven. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So you only get reputation in values of twos and fives, but they add up to uh, two, four, five, seven. Well, how do you get... Yeah, because five's a base. Yeah, two, four, five, seven, and 15. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Thanks for running that down. Uh, you like the fake stars? Yeah, no, this, the nightclub is pretty cool here. Uh, definitely a step up from the Mass Effect 1 nightclub. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the, lot, the, the space. Having more spacious area is probably better ventilated as well. Uh, let's talk about you. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got seasick eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. I won't add to your problems. Yeah, hold on. Uh, blood pack. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to Dang. Us. They'll make up the bulk of the army. It's really good. Okay. Um, oh, we can talk about Omega. Yeah, what about Omega? How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. <laughs> okay. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. I would happily watch that. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My Perfect. control of the Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. Uh, you're welcome. Um... Okay, real quick. So we're going to go back to with you? this that's one. And the reason we're going to do this one is because there is... I won't add to your problem. So that's why I wanted to get this option. Sounds like you have a lot to worry about. I'll get out of your hair. You're quite the comedian today. We'll be seeing each other soon, Shepard. Okay, cool. Uh, we just have to get the Blue Suns under control. Uh, but we'll have to do that another time. Um, can't find any of the soldiers. You guys want to keep chatting man she is just she's just like you will take me and join and bring me with the rest of the guys and we will go out and we will have fun <laughs> and he's like can we can we not please so this is the thing it's like why is there a rapid transit here oh because it brings us to the lab i still need to do that don't i i do i need to go to this one certain classified project needs help contact him at the lab um I don't know if this is going to... I don't know if this is a mission. Like, a real, real mission. Because um, we need to be focusing on this. On the Academy investigation. That's the next thing we have to do. Um, hold on. You want to check... Um, oh, if it's DLC, please do check first. Because um, we don't want to jump in... Because I have no idea what the DLC is in this game. I have no clue. Um, yeah, please do check. Let me know. Uh, so for Blue Suns, we need to go and find artifacts, so we're going to have to go and scan around in the solar systems for a little bit. Um, Benning Evidence. Where are we going to find this? Lost during a mission on Benning. So I guess we just need to go to Benning and find info at Benning. Okay. So we're going to have to go to the planet. Alright, I gotcha. Um, this one, I don't know how we're going to find that. Uh, Barla Vaughn. Uh, location Shadow Worker Force is trapped inside the DM the Krogan DMZ. Recruit them for the war effort and return to Barlevant. So we do need to go to this one. So we'll go do the Academy, and then we'll go do the Citadel Barlevan quest. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, okay, so okay, so that is a DLC. So is Arya. After you recruit all three mercenary outfits. Oh, okay. Also, if you get contacted by Anderson telling you uh, where he used to live in the Citadel, absolutely do that last. Oh my goodness, trying to remember all these things is tough. Okay, so I will put a pause on the stuff for Arya. I will put a pause on the stuff for the Dr. Uh, Bryson. Arya's kind of like Liara in Mass Effect 2 for the Shadow Worker stuff. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, so in which case, uh, let's go to the uh, Gr Grissom Academy next. You can recruit the Blue Suns, but after that, no talk. Okay. We're just going to not recruit the Blue Suns yet, then. We're just going to wait. 
We're just going to wait, because we can just do that later. Um, and besides, since these blue suns, I need to go out and find artifacts anyway. So I'll probably forget about it and then remember later. So that's fine. Um, but we'll do Grissom Academy next. Um, and then after Grissom Academy, we'll try and track down stuff for Barlavan. We'll do that. Might have to do that before a certain story mission. Not sure. Um, if you can try and let me know, that'd be great. But otherwise, we'll we get there when we get there. Okay. Uh, let's get up and out. I don't think there's anything else on the Citadel for me then. Please select the destination. I don't think there's anything else on the Citadel for me. Um, James, Arya, Liara, uh, Araka. We got to wait on uh, because we need to go and get stuff for Kanik. Um, Garrus, we're fine with doing stuff with Garrus. Nothing else there. Uh, Michelle, actually, no one else to talk over here. Bailey Adina, we're fine. Yep, yeah, we're out of here. We're done. Let's get going. Normandy. You would say that doing the DLC at any point is fine, except a DLC that starts with going to Adina's appointment, uh, apartment. Okay. Like, you could have done the Shadow Broker at any point in Mass Effect 2, but it was so good when you... Uh, when you save, wanted to save it for later. Yeah, it's also, it just helps out with lore and the like, right? As well as uh, combat. It makes it more fun. Because we have all the stuff. Oh, a Keeper! Hello, Keeper. Doing, doing, billing blank maintenance. It's doing something. Alright, let's get out of here. To the Normandy! All right, so we need to see if Gabby and Ken are on here, if there's anything else. That DLC is kind of emotional send-off. Ah, developers made for the series, uh, bar none. I see, I see. Okay, so we'll definitely do that last, for sure. Commander. Nothing new? Okay. Uh, is Gabby and Ken back? Let's go to engineering real quick. Gabby and Ken, are you here? Please tell me you're back. Oh, they're back! No banter, but it's great to be back. Feels good to be in an alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Commander. All right. Good to have him back. Need anything, Commander? Um. Yeah. Give me a rundown here. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems. Sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. <laughs> Sounds about right. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Thank you. Uh, that's that. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. Um, we know the cutoff for it, so no worries. Excellent. Okay. I told you Shepard would come visit. Oh, dang it. Nothing else, but their banter is starting back up. I like it. Be good. Um, also, the DLC in Mass Effect 3 uh, is the best work the developers have made in the series. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um... Awesome. Let us uh, go back to the shuttle bay. We needed to talk to James on the shuttle, if I remember correctly, because we didn't do that before. Let's go chat with him real quick. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm going to be just a little bit distracted. <laughs> um... Are we already asking about these? You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Okay. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. <laughs> true, true. Valid. Yeah, makes sense. 
You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. <laughs> no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> Speaking of Esteban? I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> you got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. Mm. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. Alright, just that. I'll talk to you later. Well, the poor Martina out here. I'm almost out. My mug's almost empty. Uh, is there anything else down here for us to look at, or are these just with the uh, NS1 um, Kodiak? I'm trying to remember what their what type of ship it is. All right, welcome back. Just take a look at this. Uh, thing on your left, you missed. Oh, what did I miss? Now rain. Ah, this one. The Corian model. Near left shuttle. Oh! Goodness, another model. Thank you. Yeah, can't be missing these. Perfect. Thanks, Pancake. Good, good eye. Alright, let's go and uh, play with our guns here real quick. We got a, got a couple of extra um, modules for modification. Alright, so on the gun here, we've got armor piercing and we have additional mags. Uh, so we're going to change out the armor piercing mod. This one. What oh, slot occupied? Why can't I do this? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. So is it one or the other? Interesting. So they share the same slot, so I can't do light, um, lightweight and magazine, really? That's annoying. That's fine. Uh, reducing the weight's more important, but that's, that is annoying. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, what did I have? I've got the extended barrel, we already got that one. We've got the concentration mod, and what was the other one? Scope. Accuracy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they take the same slot. How do you know if they take the same slot? It doesn't tell you anything anywhere. That's that's a little obnoxious. <laughs> it's a little obnoxious. Um... Thermal clip, spare capacity, we definitely need that. Uh, increased damage by 5%. 5% damage increase, 15% damage increase, or 15% accuracy. Accuracy is fine. We'll stick with the damage. It's fine with that one. Um, unfortunately, it's the first game they tried weapon mods. Um, this is the second game they've tried weapon mods. They did weapon mods in the first game. Uh, you're not sure if they improved in Andromeda? Uh, Mass Effect 1 had weapon mods. Um, you had weapon and armor mods in Mass Effect 1, so I, I don't know. Uh, you only played Mass Effect on Dramata for an hour? Understandable. Um, but yeah, this is a different style that they did. It was only one mod per, like, slot. They, they were very clear-cut, obvious places where the slots were in Mass Effect 1, and I don't know how many of the, the actual developers were the same between Mass Effect 1 and 3, to be honest, due to the distance on that. Um, we were trying to slap them together, and the game says no. Uh, that's how you can tell. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> uh, there's two in here, though. What's the other one? Thermal? Oh my, wow! It looks like a wood finish when you put this on. It's very nice. I like that. Uh, clip size. I don't know how this works for the pulse gun, I'll be honest here. Uh, but we'll stick it on there. 
because we don't have anything else. Uh, I think I do want... I'm going to switch back to the Avenger here. Like, the the weight of this thing is so heavy. It's really cool, but we're going to go back to the Avenger for a bit. Uh, and we'll go with the armor piercing and the additional ammo. My goodness, it's a lot of extra capacity. 40% is a lot. Uh, so we'll do that, and we'll swap that gun out. Nice. Fashion souls, but for your guns, yeah. Fashion effect. Good old fashion effect. Sometimes you just use mods uh, based on the gun's faction. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Like, the... Um, this this brown color is kind of meh on this one, but like the it looked like a, a wood board on the on the plasma one. That was really cool looking. I like it a lot. Alright, so that's good, that's good, that's good. We can't do lightweight and um there's 30% reduction in weight. So that's that's definitely worth more than having more additional shot. 40% additional rounds. The weight I think is better. So that we can use cloak and like more often. Uh, I do want to bring our weight down. Uh, when using these three guns. So I think it is critical. It's important. Um, there will be SMGs later on that serve basically the same use as the Avenger. Frankly, uh, any other assault rifle uh, will be an improvement when you get it. Um, actually, we didn't really play with the Vindicator much, did I? Did I play much with the Vindicator? I think I just skipped over it. We can play with the Vindicator. That blue is really cool. Let's go ahead and let's use Vindicator. I don't think I played with this one. Burst fire, more accurate. Yeah, I mean, I tend to be. I, I really like the. Uh, hey there. Hello. I really like the uh, the bar rifle in um, the uh, uh, Halo games. Um, the battle rifle in the uh, in the Halo games. So maybe it'll be similar for me. Um, crew deck. I don't think there's anyone else we need to talk to. We did all the talking ahead of time, so I think we can go back to the CIC. Actually, let's go to the warp room real quick. I want to see what kind of assets we picked up from running around in the Citadel, because we picked up a lot. Gamble. Um, there are actually a few burst uh, fire assault rifles in this game. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely take a look at uh, playing with them. I want to play with each of the guns. Good idea. Oh, there's Alien Alliance and Crucible. Look, Alien, we got 240 from being on the Alliance, uh, being on the Citadel here. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, the Alliance 5th Fleet. 70 points. The 5th Fleet uh, became famous across the galaxy for spearheading Alliance forces at the Battle of the Citadel. Uh, it was Guardian um, Arcturus Station when the Reapers attacked. After a bloody and uh, desperate battle, Admiral Hack gave the order to retreat, sacrificing the entirety of the Alliance 2nd Fleet to give the 3rd and 5th the chance to escape. The 5th Fleet's engineers are uh, busy repairing its damaged vessels, Grimly anticipating uh, a return to Earth. Yeah, so we read all this. Um, yeah, we read this because two years ago it lost a third. A third? It's protecting two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have time to rebuild the fleets. Okay, yeah. Um, here we go. This is the one. This is the new one. Here we go. Uh, a pair of entrepreneurs. Oh, this is the ones we were talking to. Was persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advancing weapon targeting VIs uh, and to sell them to the Alliance just above cost so this is what this is what just got boosted it's only for the fifth fleet so we got a plus five it looks like between because these other ones all have the same um uh lost a third of vessels during the battle um so this one also has the lost a third of vessels but has better targeting systems cool uh you think the argus and valkyrie are the guns okay we'll have to keep an eye out uh kasumi got it Kasumigato is wanted in a dozen and over a dozen systems for sabotage, uh, hacking, theft, and a laundry list of other crimes. Uh, the Alliance is willing to overlook Gato's uh, indiscretions in exchange for her help with the Crucible. In addition to her expertise with electronic security systems, Gato can access important technology um, thought lost or stuck deep in enemy territory. Uh, no one dares ask how she acquires these items. It's 25 points. It's worth a lot. It's good. Wait, with all we got a bunch of stuff in aliens terminus system what the terminus fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than the common geography uh and a fear of the reapers despite its volatile uh volatile mix the fleet oh this is Arya's fleet um the fleet seems to be functioning as one uh as one under the leadership of the criminal overlord Arya Talok. 
150 points. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, the Blood Pack's mercenaries have been um, compound, uh, compared to floods, fire, <laughs> wildfires, and other uh, calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorcha, preferably uh, those with no regard for collateral damage. Um, on the rare occasion, the brute force is uh, when brute force is insufficient, Blood Pack is willing to deploy weapons of mass destruction normally banned in Citadel space. Update. Uh, the Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions. Uh, develop techniques, uh, sorry, tactics around surgical strengths, sabotage, and electronic warfare. Uh, these mercenaries uh, are specialized, are supported by a sizable army of combat mix, and rely heavily on tech to, uh, for support in combat. Nice. So that's Blood Pack and uh, Eclipse. We just need the Blue Suns in there. Probably brings up to 200. Uh, Spectre unit. Uh, Spectres are the left hand of the Citadel, enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic... Um, uh, with galactic percussions. While Spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble an elite unit capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. Spectre Bao, uh, while not their official leader, is the group's spokesperson. Uh, he has passed on important information, uh, important intelligence gathered by the unit to Hackett and the Fifth Fleet. Nice. And the Drell Fleet. Uh, Hanar and Drell forces. The Hanar have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Uh, though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar have also provided the services of their best drill combat specialists. Uh, they are uh, accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins, uh, trained at an extremely young age. While the Hanar are normally loath to send trusted allies uh, into open warfare, these are desperate times. Cool! So we've gained a lot of power. Um, doing stuff in the Citadel today. Nice. Um, at this point, Arya, a warlord, uh, has committed more to the war in the Citadel races. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think about, right? <laughs> the, the warlords put in more effort than the Citadel. Yikes. All right, cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us to talk about over here, so I think we just can get up and go. You can go and get up and go. Commander. Campbell? Or Camp Bell? I think it's Camp Bell. Uh, anything on Primate Terminal? Nothing new? Anything new? Omega, it's time. Are you to look? Subject, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned um, when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42, the Citadel. Batarian named uh, Brains will be waiting. What? What pet project was this? It doesn't feel like it's uh, timed, so I'm going to wait on that one. Um, huh. Commander. All right. Let's go. Ah, uh, that DLC. Okay. Cool. Cool. We will ignore it. So there's two of the DLCs. Um, you can play as a Volus in multiplayer. Um, they can't shoot over cover because they're too short. Makes sense. But it also means they don't have to crouch behind cover. They just walk behind it, right? Okay. Meet diplomats. We need to go over here and save students. It's the Aspen uh, Aspen Crest that we need to go and inspect. Uh, let's go over here and let's go see if we can inspect a couple of areas real quick. Do a little bit of scanning. We started scanning in one of the areas. We can go scan in the other. We'll probably have to deal with Reapers, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh my goodness, what? There's six in this system? What was that blink all about? Ooh. What? Okay. Um... Last one we'll do then. Found nothing. We're out. Twenty percent of assets recovered, though. I don't understand how I missed any assets there. All right, well, we'll have to come back another time. It's fine. We're only at twenty percent of assets recovered in the system. The only one we picked up so far was fuel. Um, meet with diplomats. Oh, this is for the Krogan. 
This is for the Krogan. Uh, we'll come over here and rescue the students. Find artifacts. Ah, okay, that's okay. That we need to do artifact finding there. I see, I see. Okay. My goodness, wow. Yeah, <laughs> the strike abyssal. Oh, the strike abyssal. We needed to do something over there. Can't remember what it was though. Can you play as a hand That's oh man, playing multiplayer and playing as hand would be pretty cool. The question is, uh, did you find any fragile crates from scanning the galaxy? No, not yet, big cheese. Not yet. Fingers crossed though. Fingers crossed. All right, let's go save these students. Let's get these bright minds out of here. <laughs> I know, that'd be such a good line. Like, have a, have a rocket launcher. Enkindle this. Boom. Uh, uh, so, there's no point in scanning in Mass Effect territories, correct? We don't find anything here? I mean, there's no other system, so I'm just going to do it real quick, because why not? No, unfortunately, only races that have legs and arms. Aww. Uh, Hanar put down. The only one that knows this one's soul name is your birth mother. Oh my. <laughs> so good. That's really good, Big Cheese. That, that's amazing. That is a really good one. Uh, that's really good. Oh, man. Alright, let's go ahead and see these students. Um, the stated mission of the uh, John Grissom Academy, committed um, commissioned in 2176, is to serve a student population demonstrating excellence and passion for math, science, and the liberal arts. Its entirely human body... Oh, wow. Entirely human student body ranges in age from early teens to the mid-20s. Uh, although the fact uh, is not heavily advertised, the institution also offers classes for students with biotic capacity. Um, the school's Ascension Project seeks to train these students and integrate them into normal society. Population 8.62 thousand, uh, 1.1 kilometer long, gross weight, a lot. Let's go land. <laughs> gross weight, heavy. Man, look at the team we have. Okay, so for this one, we needed to bring Edie, right? Man, we suddenly have so many team members. Um, so we needed to bring Edie to the to here, right? I think someone said we need to bring Edie. I don't think we needed to bring Javik. We don't need to bring James. It's above his. It's above his. Uh, uh, his skills. Uh, we can always bring Liara. I do like bringing Liara. We can bring Garrus if needed. But um, Edie and Garrus. Bring Garrus and Edie. Um. Uh, info. ED has incinerate, overload, defense matrix, decoy, and unshackle AI. Wow, that sounds really good. Armor bonus, power bonus, uh, plus 25, okay. Um, armor piercing ammo, concussive proximity, overload, Turian rebel. He's got these two weapons here. What weapon did she have? Unknown. Cool, okay. Um, and then shield bonus. Uh, Liara is... Oh, yeah, I didn't put any points in stasis. I don't want that. What skills does he have? Dark Channel, Lift Grenade, Pull, Slam, and a Vengeful Ancient. Okay. Armor bonus weapon damage. Okay. This is the extra bonuses I see. I see. Uh, can I cycle appearance? Oh, man. Okay, so she can go in standard uh, full, full synth mode. We can put her in, um, like, assassin mode. Uh, we can put her in, I guess this is just, I'm assuming this is just a leftover suit of Miranda's that we found on the ship. Because it looks like Miranda's old suit. Um, or this super, like, I actually like that one, that's pretty good. Because uh, looking at the visor. It's kind of a cool visor, I like that one. Also, appearance have armor bonuses, you forget, really? Oh, they do. Power recharge speed, 25%. Power uh, power damage. Power recharge speed. Shields. I don't care about her having better shields. Um, damage and recharge speed are thinking more important things. What powers did she have? Incinerate, overload, defense uh, defense matrix decoy. Uh, incinerate and overload. I'd love to her to spam this. It would be great. 
Yeah, 80s alternate appearances are putting clothes on. I know, right? <laughs> uh, do you want uh, her all natural or an extra tight bodysuit? I mean, she'd look a little more natural wearing the, the tight bodysuit, right? Uh, we'll, we'll stick her in this suit for now. We can always swap her. It's, it's fashion effect. We can always change her appearance later, right? We can always change it later. Uh, we'll stick with this one for now, I think. Uh, and then for Garrus... What? Shields? Yeah, it feels like a shields thing. Shields, shields, weapon damage. Weapon damage, yeah. I like this one. With the uh, the extra armor straps. I think it's cool. You can go with that one. Overload for shields, uh, synthetics, incinerate for armor, organics. Ed is base is actually one of the best skill sets in your opinion. Yeah, she seems like she's a um, because we were relying on overload. So our in Mass Effect Two, overload from Miranda and incinerate from um, Morden, where was our was our wombo combo that we were relying on. Ed has them both. She can't use them at the same time unless, of course, we have power recharge, and we can then throw in Liara later on for our uh, our warp and singularity bonus. So I think Liara Edie might end up being our power team. So far looking at it. Also this game continues the Mass Effect 2 trend of uh, putting dumb visors on alt costumes. Yeah, I really don't like the visor thing. It's really annoying. It's dumb. But I mean, Edie has a visor no matter what. So let's try this visor and see how it looks. Uh, so you're thinking uh, for banter, banter reasons, do we need Garrus? We're taking Edie. Taking Edie, actually, this is easier for us to see her different suits. Yeah, it's, it's literally Miranda's suit. She just found Miranda's spare suit in the closet somewhere. <laughs> um, so this is like, uh, this one's actually a little more biomechanical. You see kind of like the, the bolts on her versus this one, which is just a tight bodysuit. Also looks like she maybe has like a, a headband. Yeah. They put a, she's got a headband on there. Huh. Huh. We'll, we'll try this one. See how it goes. I oh, prefer her blue one, uh, but that's Fashion Souls. Her blue one? This one? Or this one? I think I like this one more. Um, this is the key to meta. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Mass Effect 3 has lots of ability combos. Uh, you can prime with Bionics, Tech... Uh, pyro or cryo and detonate for huge explosions. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you'll meet an old friend in the academy uh, who also knows Garrus. Perfect. Okay. So we'll go with that one. Uh, this one? Yeah, I like this one. Uh, I think this is a cool setup for her. And it kind of kind of fits her aesthetic. We'll see how we go, though. Uh, we'll deselect her so we can select Garrus and kind of see how these look. Because again, we can decide. Hey, it's okay. Definitely no. That's his basic. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It just adds... It just it changes the uh, the colors of all of his straps uh, and adds on like additional armor plating to like. I think that's good. We'll take these two. We'll bring Liara on another trip. We'll take these two for now. Gold swag, exactly. Uh, the only bad Garrus uh, outfit is the one that covers up his beautiful face. Exactly right, Luggy. You, you hit the nail on the head with that one. We can't have Garrus covering his face. You kidding me? Come on. We can't have anyone covering their face. Right? We, we want to be able to see what's going on over there. All right, so this is our own loadout. We've already gone ahead and uh, messed with our own loadout, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's jump over to Garrus. Garrus, he's playing with the Mantis. We can go ahead and we swap into the Viper if we want to, but I don't see a reason to. I like the extra damage. Let's go ahead and let's get, um, what, we'll give him the scope and barrel? So don't care about his spare capacity or anything. Yeah, we'll give him scope and barrel. Damage and accuracy. Give him that bonus. Assault Rifle, we'll go ahead and give him the Plasma Rifle because we don't care about uh, weight. Weight isn't a thing that matters. Give him Piercing and give him Ammo Capacity. I don't know if that matters, but we'll just put it on there. Perfect. Um, perfect. Then we'll go over to Edie. So Edie actually uses only pistols. I see. It kind of makes sense. She is an assassin outfit, right? Uh, so we've got the Predator or nothing. So we'll go for the Predator. The predator, we'll go ahead and we'll give her the... We don't care. They have infinite ammo. Who cares? Uh, we'll give pistol mod and I guess the weight mod, which also doesn't matter, but sure, fine. Why not? Um, and the shuriken. For the shuriken, we only have one mod, and that's for weight. So I guess this thing is like super ridiculously light. She's got a really light outfit. 
Uh, her, her kit is... Jeez, look how low weight that is. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, but Luggy, how are you doing today? Welcome. How's it going, John? How are you doing today? It's going well. We're starting our first mission. We were just doing a whole bunch of running around in the Citadel for the last three whole hours. We've just been doing Citadel side missions. Um, uh, Got to cover up if you want to give uh, Shepard a shot. Uh, Edie is engineer, so no weapon training. That makes sense. Uh, Citadel will be like that, though. True. I mean, I am. I, I, I'm all in for the for the lore though and side quests. So I don't mind, but just. So you know, you've missed no real missions yet. Uh, the Nexus in Mass Effect Andromeda could never be half as good. Wow, really? Oof. Uh, wait, uh, wait till you get some of the DLC later on. Uh, you might have multiple streams of no missions. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I gotcha. Nexus is all right. Okay, but it's not like uh, not like killer or anything. All right, perfect. So we got these guys. Uh, she's all kitted. Um, I'm kitted, and we've got a, actually a bonus to our weight now that I've dropped the uh, uh, from the pulse rifle, which is ridiculously heavy. Uh, he can play with the pulse rifle instead. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna play with the burst. I want to use burst with cryo ammo. See how that goes. We'll probably use disruptor ammo on the um, on our mantis, and probably cryo on the predator. We're probably actually going to be using cryo more often than I want to, to be honest. Because uh, I've got a lot of disruptor levels. I should probably put some levels in cryo at this point now. Uh, Alright, Garrus. Let's go and level you up 41 points. Holy moly. Let's get this thing done. This is going to take a while. Um, it's alright to be sure, but uh, next to the Citadel, it ain't no thing. Oh, I gotcha. Um, although you'll get a combat arena. Oh. That you can go through multiple times to really mess with combat. Oh, that's going to be really nice. Look forward to that. Is this your first ever playthrough? Yes. First time playing through all three games. Really enjoying it. Uh, importing from game to game. I'm getting all the... Like, this, this, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm really liking the franchise. Um, let's see. Concussive shot for sure. We definitely want points in. Overload is an important one. We want that arm piercing ammo. Yes. Proximity mine. No idea on that one. And Turian River will take a look. All right. Let's go through them. Concussive shot. I know we need this for sure. Flatten your enemy with a precise blast at short or long range. Effective against barriers. Uh, recharge time brings it from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. That's pretty good. Increase force and damage by 25%. It's actually really good. Um, increase force and damage by another 30. Or increase impact radius by 1.5 meters. I don't know what the default meter range on this is. I'm assuming it's not... I'm assuming it's not an AoE before. Uh, recharge speed. Force and damage to frozen targets. 100%. Wow. There's your combo, okay. Best DLC ever, in your opinion, is the Citadel DLC? Oh, okay. Concussive Shot is a good detonator? No kidding, look at that, 100%, it's crazy. Um, amplification, power concussive shunt uh, with the properties of the active ammo, enabling it to burn, freeze, distort, warp, or pierce. Wow, or increase damage to organics by 100% for bleeding, I see, and force by 50%. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, overload, for sure. We're definitely going to want at least one point in here, so we can at least give him one point. Um, electronics, surging, stunning enemies, effective against shields, barriers, and synthetics, not effective against organics, makes perfect sense. Recharge time, 25%. Damage increase 20. Um, hit one additional target within 8 meters with 60% less damage. That's actually pretty good. Increase damage by 30%. Uh, incapacitate take weaker organics for a short duration. Eh, it's not really important. We don't have to focus on that. Um, he can use the his sh uh, his shot otherwise. Increase uh, recharge speed, increase damage to fifteen percent, an additional target. Okay, so you can actually do this twice then. Hit three people. That's really good. Shield damage, increase damage to barriers and shields by an additional one hundred. I mean, that's really what we're going to use this for. Honestly, I think the shield damage can be better. However, I think we'd probably want to go for the chain or anything else. I think Turian Rebel, he can turn Garrus into a turret. Oh, really? We're, I want to go through all of these first before we actually start putting points in. So we're just going to take a look at everything here. Arm Piercing Ammo, of course, we're always going to put at least one point in here. It costs us only literally one point for rank one, so we might as well do it. Uh, arm Piercing Ammo. Uh, bring down heavy armored units, shoot through light cover. Oh! To hit enemies, okay. More weapon damage, more damage against armor. Um, ammo cover penetration up to 40%. Okay, so it penetrates through 0.7 meters. Wow, what's almost... That is some serious penetration. 
Jeez. Uh, Zelda, where should I post uh, a highlight video of the old Mass Effect multiplayer uh, for viewing Discord? You can just check in the main chat. Uh, I don't think we have a specific section for Mass Effect. I should get an, uh, we should get like an RPG focused channel or RPG games specifically. Uh, but you can go ahead and put it just in the main chat. Just uh, just tag me on it. Tag me on that. So I'll go see that in Discord. Um, yeah, Garrus' weapon damage is ridiculous. Yeah, it's going to be insane. If you spec uh, him right, Garrus solos Reaper invasions. Um, yes, yeah, definitely seems like that's going to be the case. Uh, health and armor damage increased by 4%, bring it to 14. Health and armor damage by another 6. Uh, squad mates gain ammo type. That's not important. I mean, armor piercing's nice, but I'm, I'd am i rather use something other than that for, the, for dealing with armor. We can just freeze them when they have armor, no problem. Uh, headshots increase damage. Uh, even more. Good gracious. Um, cover penetration by 40%. By another 6% on top of the 40%. It's a 100% increase. Decrease the effectiveness of armored, uh, armored targets at 25. Wow. I think we'll still do the health and armor damage, though, when we do this. Uh, proximity mine. All right, this uh, sticking mine into traffic. It'll detonate when an enemy steps within its range. Charge time, damage, damage. Impact radius 50%. 4.5 meters. Whoa. Okay. So let's target movement by 30% for 8 seconds. That's pretty good. Increase damage dealt to targets from all sources by 20% for 8 seconds. That's fine. I don't. I think we'll probably go for... Probably go for damage over movement speed reduction, since it's an eight uh, eight percent uh, or eight second time frame. Either way, it should be dead, with, dead within those eight. Um, increase damage by fifty percent and increase the recharge time. Um, and the recharge time is nice since it is you know twenty seconds to recharge. But oh, this doesn't have this doesn't have charges. This is an infinite use uh, ability. Interesting. Well, at least again, we'll get level one in there. Korean rebel. During rebel, boost weapon, damage, health, and powers. Um, 10 and 20%, 10 and 20%, 40% in weapon damage, 20% in uh, armor and uh, health and shields, 20% in damage. Good gracious. Increase assault rifle damage by 50% versus power damage by 20. Keno, definitely assault rifle. Um, increase power damage by squad mates for 10 or sniper rifle. Yeah, no, we're doing Okay, yeah, he, yep. That was easy. <laughs> that was... Yep. All right. Done. Done. Um, yeah, that was easy. Uh, holy wall of tanks, Batman? Yeah, no, we'll take a look at that. How's it going, Awful? How are you doing today? Uh, but yeah, no, definitely uh, health damage, health damage, damage, damage with assault rifle, damage with sniper rifle. I want damage, full, full damage on this guy. Yeah, we're going full cannon boy here. He's just going to be... I want him to be blasting through things. Weapon damage increased by 100%. 100% weapon damage increase. Because it's 20, 40, 60. This thing here increases by 40, puts it to 100. And it's going to be 150 with assault rifles. And it's going to be 160 with sniper rifles. That's amazing. All right. Holy wall attacks. Take a look here. Uh, oh, wait. Before that, you exist because I allow it. And you will end, you will end because I demand it. Garrus, seriously, he said that? That's a great quote. Oh, man. Wow. What a quote. Um, let's see here. Yeah, if you spec him right, Garrus just stands there and drops everything that enters in his field of view. Yeah, no, that's what I'm hoping for, 100%. Um, also, one of Garrus's outfit ups his damage output a bit, too. Um, I think I took the, yeah, I, I took the armor that gave him a damage output by 25%. <laughs> I think that's what, because I didn't take the one for shields. I think it was only shields and damage, so yeah, I went with that one. All right, John, let's take a look here. Uh, you just finished an EU4 game? Nice. Oh, man, I really need to play EU4. It's on the list. It's on the list. We will play it at some point. Because uh, I've played Crusader Kings 3. I've played Stellaris. We've played Hearts of Iron 4. I gotta play... I gotta play EU4 at some point. Gotta get into that. Um, has anyone ever joked about the uh, channel profile picture Z? Um, maybe? Some people have. Pretty sure. How's it going, Jason? Welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, joked in what way? I'm curious. Lay it on me. Throw it at me. Um, but yeah, so you you finished an EU4 game where you joined in late as Holland and had to fight against uh, a France player twice. Oh, you were playing multiplayer. I got you. Um, 
The first time, uh, it didn't go well because he joined in only a few years ago uh, and wasn't able to get many player allies. 15 years later, he attacked again and was uh, determined to wipe you, wipe you out since Holland was 120 years controlled by... Oh, yeah, 120 years controlled by an AI. That makes sense. You thankfully got an alliance with Prussia um, because you're the one supporting him economically with gold monthly. Nice, nice. Uh, so we decided to do a 1v1 France again. Okay. Uh, Prussia and you became, uh, only had 16,000 at the time, and France had 10, it had 100,000, and Prussia had 11, wow, okay. So you were barely outnumbered, um, because Prussia had 77k, France had 100k, and you had 16k. Uh, France thought it was going to be a 1v1 against you without Prussia, so he called in Italy and Great Britain. Uh, which the Commonwealth and the Ottomans didn't like, so uh, they joined themselves and Prussia. Oh my goodness, which is funny because France would have won the war if they didn't call in Italy. Now France player didn't want to play uh, next session because he can't take the Lowlands, even though uh, even though his country. That's amazing. Uh, he got greedy. He got greedy, and he thought he was going to be safe about it and bring in extra allies, but he didn't realize the uh, the additional alliances he had set up. That's really good. That's funny. Um, let's see, Legend of Zorro? Maybe. Um, because of the stuff in Ukraine, uh, forces will use the letter Z for military. Ah, we have a flaming Z. It's not, it's, it's, listen, Jason, it's a flaming Z. They're definitely not going to use it. Um, nah, I don't think it's a political thing. I don't think anyone would bring it up, uh, since it's on freaking fire. Um, and they've got enough tanks on fire, right? <laughs> um, back to game. Uh, remember to give him the full ammo sniper rifle? Oh, yeah. I think he's using the Mantis right now. I don't think I gave him the Viper. I should give him the full auto one. You're right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we still have 17 points to throw at this. I don't really care about too much about the proximity mines. I think Overload, Concussive Shot, and the and the ammo Piecing Ammo is the more important one. And I don't think maxing any of them out is going to be of really any vital importance. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Concussive Shot, I think, is going to be more important for us at the moment. At least getting up to damage and force at Tier 3. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade to rank 3 here. Um, overload. I think we're just going to upgrade each of these to rank 3 before we decide how we want to move forward. Uh, as it increases damage and recharge time on them and gives us more uh, versatility. Uh, pierces through cover and more damage. Perfect. We have two points left and we'll leave it at is, as is. I don't care about more proximity mine parts at this point here. Because uh, proximity mine, it just increases recharge time. And we're going to be using the other ones a little bit more, to be honest. Hey, Luggy, thanks for the follow. It's been good having you here. Appreciate that. Um, Stellaris with the Cave Johnson announcer is fantastic. Cave Johnson. Uh, it's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle can use, uh, hustle can use some work, though. Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson is the guy for uh, Portal. Right? Right? No? I haven't played the Portal games. It is? Okay. So I've, I've seen some clips then, and that's why I know that. Okay. Right. I do need to play Portal at some point. Both 1 and 2. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I mean, the recharge time is nice and all, but... Honestly, I think we're going to be predominantly using his overload and uh, charge, uh, charge shot abilities. So I don't really see us needing that one so much. Solaris seems too complicated. Solaris is pretty complicated, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll definitely be playing more Solaris again. There's a couple of DLCs I want to circle back to. So we'll be circling back to that at some point. Um, they're going to cut off your Johnson to see the dude. What? <laughs> you're going to cut off your Johnson? What? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. Oh, I didn't do ED's upgrades. I didn't do my upgrades. Oh well. The folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. Too bad. So Just sad. A dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. I love that I love that line. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. Good enough. Come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. 
Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> can I? Oh boy, can I? Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I forgot. We need to upgrade. Like, so, Edie has zero abilities right now. Well, I, maybe we can upgrade her while we're on, on mission? I'm not sure. We'll see. Level 36 before Christmas County? Damn, dude. Well, we, we uploaded our... Uh, our game from Mass Effect 2 started us at level 30. So technically we're only level 6. Nice. That was really good uh, animation. Keep the shuttle in position. Come we'll on, Cortez. Get us in there. Learn something new today? What'd you learn? I do feel sad that I'm not going to be able to play with Edie's full capacity here, but we'll see if we can upgrade her in a second. Can I do it from here? I can. Perfect. We can upgrade her from here. Excellent. I, I missed the opportunity, but it's okay. We can still do it. Yeah, I still have 16 points to play with, Um, but we need to go and upgrade Edie. Oh, it's a calm band. It's not just a headband. It's actually got a... It's got a mic on here um but when she said receiving incoming transmission that just immediately made me think of um um uh, starcraft made me immediately think of starcraft um and the the vi or ai in starcraft receiving incoming transmission uh all right incinerate overload defense matrix decoy decoy distract opponents with a decoy that sounds really good uh, if you ever play Stellaris again, play it with Gabe Johnson, announcer uh, on Workshop. I really need to. Uh, that sounds amazing. Because, um, like, if I remember correctly, he's like a really witty announcer, right? Just like super witty. Can't stop playing with it. But we'll definitely go and circle back to Stellaris. Uh, Stellaris just lost the um, lost the vote. Um, actually, quick uh, rundown here for those hanging out here. A quote from the Big Lebowski movie. Ah, I see. I gotcha. Um, oh, I'll read that in a second here. Um. But for those of you who are hanging out here who are new, uh, what ends up happening is whenever we finish a game on this channel, uh, I we have a massive list of games that I want to play and a couple of games that we need to revisit because either DLCs have come out or there have been massive patches and updates uh, and we need to circle back and play them again, get some more, uh, get some more content out of those. Uh, so whenever we finish a game, I'll pick five off of that list that I'm really, like, I'm really excited to play uh, and there'll be a multiple choice vote uh, that you guys uh, participate in for a week. Uh, and whatever wins is what we play. Um, so you can vote for just one game, most games, all games, just whatever collectively gets the most votes. A list that you are shamelessly adding into uh, at a whim? Yeah, no, we've got an entire... Uh, we've got a, a channel in the Discord specifically for suggesting games to be placed on the list. Um, because the thing is, there's so many games out there that I'm not... I'm A, probably never going to be able to play them all, uh, and B, never going to find all the diamonds in the rough. Because there are going to be some really good games that are going to be released that I'll just, they'll never be on my radar. So if you guys find them, please stick them in there. <laughs> at least for me to take a look at. Even if it ends up being kind of a meme uh, game, at least put it in there. Let me take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, so we do that every uh, every time we finish a game. So once Mass Effect 3 is over, we'll have another vote. Once Dark Souls 1, which we're going to be playing tomorrow. Because we do Mass Effect, um, we do one game on Monday and Tuesday and another game on Wednesday and Thursday. So we play two games throughout the week on our four-day stream schedule. Um, when each of those are done, we'll be doing a vote uh, individually whenever we finish one or the other. Um, uh, you can also see what the most recent vote was if you go to the About page on uh, the Twitch channel here. Uh, there is a button to Current Vote, which will bring you to whatever was last done which was the one that got us to Dark Souls 1. So you can see what the options were on there, and you can see on there, there was the option to play Stellaris again. There was the option to play Crusader Kings 3 again. Um, I think maybe even I put Hearts of Iron 4 on there? I, I can't remember, but I know that both Stellaris and Crusader Kings were on there. Uh, I think there was like a huge tie for second place, but Dark Souls got first. Um, so anything that gets second place is guaranteed to be on the vote list again, um, because it got second place. So, we will be doing Stellaris soon, hopefully. All right, Incinerate, Overload, Defense Matrix. Uh, reinforce Armor, Protect, um, uh, Falcult, uh, Currents. 
purge the currents uh, to restore shields, uh, slow down power use. Okay. Uh, decoy and Unshackle AI. All right, let's take a look at Unshackle AI. Uh, boost damage, shield barriers, and health. Um, 10, 20 is going to be the same thing. 10, 20, 10, 20, 20 on power use, uh, 20 on shields, 20 on weapon damage, uh, 30 on tech abilities. That's different. Okay. Um, decrease shield recharge delay by 20, which is useful, and increase squad mate tech power and duration. Uh, actually, we might actually take this one, honestly. That sounds useful for us. Okay, uh, let's go to Incinerate. Uh, incinerate. Burn opponents. We have incinerate currently. So recharge speed, power, power, or radius. Recharge speed, damage over time. I think I want recharge speed for mine. Combo and armored. Uh, we're at least going to get her one point in overload. Because again, one point you should always have. Um, recharge, damage, multiple targets. So we have the same thing for Garrus, right? Garrus has overload as well. He does. So we don't actually have to focus on that right now. But she, we might end up using her with Liara, in which case we do definitely need to overload for sure. Uh, maybe there should be a list for games to come back to uh, due to their focus on gameplay, uh, such as Stellaris and Hui. Yeah, maybe. I'll have to think on that, but that, that does make sense. Um, yeah, there are many advisor mods uh, you can download. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I need to look into... Because eventually, the thing is, just like what we did with RimWorld, is um, once we finish playing the game, but we still have more content we want to do, we can definitely bring in mods as well. There's no reason not to. We've done it in the past. Uh, defense Matrix. Uh, reinforce armor uh, to protect. So, slows power use. So, power... Um, Recharge speed, damage reduction 15, shields restored 50% of, so we'll definitely take that. Uh, this increases recharge speed, that sounds really good. Shield restoration is 20% when purged, that's good. Uh, damage reduction 5%, or more shield re restored by 30%. Um, shield recharge delay is reduced even more, wow, okay. Well, that's just passive recharge rate, I see, I see. Increase tech power damage by 25% while defense matrix is active. It's only active for how long? It's not active for that long. Recharge speed, I guess 16 seconds. I don't know if I really want that one. Uh, reduce power speed penalty by 30. That sounds really good. And increase damage protection. Actually, we might go damage protection for her. I uh, will do recharge speed and we'll do the amount that it purges. We'll get her up to level 3 on that one. Uh, decoy. Distract enemies with this decoy. Okay. I guess it's just like a decoy that pops out into the field. We can we can test that real quick. Um, chuck me a decoy. Wow, it's like, it's like Bioshock. Nice. It's like the Bioshock decoy. Let's take a look at that. Alright, so decoy. Uh, recharge times. How long does it last? 15 seconds. Decoy shield 1000. That's really good. Duration, 30% more, 40% more, shields are more. Shock enemies by 100 uh, points within 2.5 meters of the radius. Okay, I don't know if that just means it does it, or if it's like when it dies. Uh, you repeat yourself because it's important. Uh, only play portal games after you give us the Zal Blind Emote. Zal Blind Emote. I don't think it's on my list. Here, hold on, let, let, me, let me write that down real quick. Let me write down a Zal Blind emote. You get an idea for that one. Because we do I do need to get some emotes going again. Zal Blind Emotes. Okay, because we have a, a Zal glitch emote that I'm looking at as well. Um Okay, cool. Because we have five more emotes we can get put in there. Um so yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll get that on the list. I'll get that on the list to start mocking up. Get a get an idea on how to draw that one. Um, better recharge time. It'll be important for that game. Perfect. Per oh, actually, it makes sense, yeah, because it's a puzzle game. Increase shield and duration by by fifty percent. Wow. Or deco explodes on destruction, specifically on destruction. Now, I don't know if that's important. We're not going to be dealing with a lot of melee people, I don't think. So I think getting more shields, more duration, is probably better. Uh, we'll let's do recharge rates. Now nah, we can leave it at tier one. I think tier one's fine. Let's go to unshackled AI. Uh, let's definitely go and level up her Unshackled AI. We just go up to tier 3 for sure. 60% increased power damage, 30% more shield. That's really good. 
We can increase power damage further, which I'm really tempted to have her be a power powerhouse, you know? Um, but let's go ahead and we'll leave it as such. Um, defense matrix is fine. Let's go ahead and get incinerate to tier 3. And let's get overload to tier 3 as well. Because I do want those at tier 3s. Decoy is fine at 1. That's fine at 1. That's fine at 3. So let's go ahead and let's look at maxing these. So this is what? 3, 4, 5. So 8, 12. So I can get 1 maxed and 1, one more point. So I can do 4 blips. Uh, do we want to out... I mean, I have Incinerate. Uh, where's my Incinerate at? Incinerate's at 3. Or Incinerate's at 3. Um, I'll likely keep her around for her Overload and use Edie and Liara together. So I think we want to upgrade her Overload over anything else. Hit one additional target within 8 meters at 60%. Should take a look at that. Oh, I completely missed the uh, that quote from uh, Luggy. Hold on, Luggy. Let's take a look here. Alright, I've been thinking... Uh, I've been thinking when life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life. Take the lemons back. Get mad. Don't, don't want your... Uh, I don't want your damn lemons. Uh, what am I supposed to do with those? Depends on... Uh, demand to see life's manager. What? Uh, make life rue the day it thought it could give... Uh, it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Uh, did you, do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with those lemons. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns down your house. Dave Johnson, good gracious. Okay. <laughs> Anger management issues or just ingenuity? Who knows? Uh, you haven't used the workshop for the Elder Scrolls. Uh, you normally use Wobjack mod packs. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. We were talking about that uh, yesterday. I think it was. Yeah. Honestly, your go-to team is usually um, Edie and Caden. Caden gets really good skills. Uh, skillless Mass Effect 3. Ugh, yeah, Caden died in our Mass Effect 1 run, so uh, we've got uh, Williams. Actually, good question. Um, who who ends up being the default person if you just play Mass Effect 3? If you didn't pl if you didn't import from Mass Effect 1 or 2, if you just play Mass Effect 3, do you get Caden or Williams? Or Alenko or Williams, since we go by last names here. Do you get Alenko or Williams? I'm assuming you get Williams. Williams? Yeah, I'm assuming you get Williams. Depends on the gender. That makes sense. So if you're playing as male Shepherd, you get uh, Williams. But if you play as uh, female Shepherd, you get Alenko? Or does Alenko always die? Huh. It depends on gender. Oh, interesting. Okay. If it's male ship, then you get uh, Williams. If it's female ship, you get Alenko. Huh. The more you know. All right, do we want to do chain overloads? I mean, chain overload sounds really good. Power boost is also pretty good, too. But we can have power boost come off of her unshackled AI. Incapacitate weaker organics for a short time. So it ends up, like, incapacitating them, because it doesn't actually affect organics currently. Stunning. So it would stun them. Or we can get a faster recharge time. Uh, the fastest recharge time we can get is 9.14 seconds. Instead of 10. 10.67 seconds is fine. I think. So I think we go chain. Increases damage to barriers and shields by, 50, by 100%. 100% more damage to barrier shields is really good. More so than an additional target. Increases damage by 15 now. Thirty. This is just overall damage. It's damage to shields by synths. So I guess the only difference on this one is it doesn't do damage directly to the synths. Hmm. Some people have never played uh, Femship, uh, and it shows. Yeah. Uh, in the meme section of your Discord, uh, you post the video. Of oh yes, please do. Yes. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll check it. I'll definitely go and check them after uh, after stream. After stream, I always go and uh, troll through the Discord, see what I missed. All right, let's see. I'm really tempted to go with chain upload or chain overload, and then go organic. Just make it more of a utilitarian ability. Let's go with that. The real thing here is, do we want to be able to hit two targets? So three targets in total. Because 8 meters is a lot of distance. Or do we just want flat increased damage by 100%? Means this, we're going to be looking at almost almost 800 damage 
two barriers and shields. I have Incinerate, and Liara's got Warp, which is for barriers and shields. So, eh. We can, I mean, we can slam through them. I think, I think Overload's probably better. Just makes it a more utilitarian ability. We can wait on this last one, but we're almost out of points. We can get two points in... So I miscounted. Yeah, I said three, four, five. It's uh, four, five, six. That's how I messed up my numbers. Um, incinerate we're also going to be using, but right now I can we can tandem ours and hers together. So that's not a problem. Oof. Shield damage or overcharge or overload. I'm really mostly gonna tell her to use this against shields. But since we're gonna be probably teaming up her and Liara together, I don't think I need to. So let's go with chain overload. The thing that I currently struggle with is dealing with uh, massive loads of enemies. So go for chain overload instead. There we go. Nice. She's all set up, done and done, Garrus done and done. I can grab some points if we want to go put some points and stuff. Probably cryo ammo, if anything. Restoration is longer, don't really care about that. Restoration is longer, or give cryo ammo to others. Gracious, it's a lot of things that take last forever. Ammo, headshots, yeah, that's not really anything here I care about. Uh, you know which characters would make an unusual, uh, but oddly intriguing couple? Saeed and Shockboss? Oh my goodness, they would, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. No, they would, wouldn't they? Huh. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, increased capacity or increased headshot damage? I mean, I'm tempted to get ammo capacity. <laughs> uh, increased odds of stunning by 25% or increased damage. Increased uh, health damage by 5 and shield and barrier by 20. I'm still going to wait on these, I think. I haven't decided what I want to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's get this job done. Can I walk through her? I can. Commander, oh, she mimics! Uh, Server's troops, so let's actually go cryo. Um, she doesn't get an ammo type, that's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and put your armor piercing on, please. Uh, is there a way that I'm able to, like, see these, um... The icons right next to their heads. Is there a way for me to activate those abilities? At once. Is there a way for me to do that? Yes. Got it. Oh, when I'm looking at a target, and I hit Q and E. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Because Q and E is what uh, what did I just attempted to shift Q to see if that would do anything, but I would just move her. All right. Perfect. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Sniper, we'll go ahead and we'll hit Sniper to uh, Destructor Ammo, and we'll switch over our Pistol to... I want Cryo on Pistol. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Oh, nice, okay. It's absolute pains in my butt, I swear. Wow, the recoil on this gun is nuts. Oh my goodness, I shot his head off. Oh, okay. Um, the recoil on this gun... Yeah, I'm not a fan of the recoil on this gun. Yikes. Yikes, I am not a fan. Um... Try priming uh, with ED's overload and then detonating with Garrus's concussive. I can do that. Uh, you can get a stability mod uh, to reduce the recoil. Ah, yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I have to go track down that mod for it. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Put that down. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than twenty. 
Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion oh, spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. Gotcha. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met. God, what's it been? Twenty years ago, when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. Mm. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. That's Anderson's girlfriend from the books? Oh. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Yeah. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Froberg. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. All right. Oh, <laughs> get prepped and ready. Let's do this thing. Get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. All right, Orion Hall's down there. All right. Dragged off. That's not good. <laughs> it's his screams. There it is. Missed him. Nice barrier, by the way. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. All right. Uh, you got a power combo next time? Okay. I'll have to remember power combo. Overload and concussive. Gotcha, gotcha. Tactical review, tactical analysis review, student ID 275668. Unshielded opponent approached at 2 o'clock, shielded opponent approached at 12 o'clock. Both holding heavy pistols. Most effective way to take them down? Uh, you choose shockwave, correct answer. Singularity followed by warp. Um, instructor comments, shockwave uh, inadequate against shielded enemies. Your barrier would hold long enough against heavy pistols for a singularity to catch both. Uh, warp on an unstable biotic field created by a singularity causes an explosion. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, perfect. Liara can do that. She can, she can, she can singularity and warp. Nice. She can wombo combo all on her own. That's cool. I don't really have abilities to do that. Uh, actually, cryo ammo in our, um, our incinerate can get her done. Incinerate and then, uh, or cryo and then incinerate. Oh, jeez. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, no, don't, don't. Hold on to the wall, please. Thank you. Let's back up, please. Blocked. Oh, she's down. That's awkward. Uh, okay, so if we in with you, get an overload there, please. Perfect. Cause that'll chain them. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Edie. <laughs> Can you get out of the way? Garrus is gonna get blown up. 
Reload. Alright. Unfortunately, Edie went down there. There's something on the desk. Did I miss it? Ah, here we go. Personal log. Instructor log. The kids are getting better at this. <laughs> kids are getting better at this garbage, but I'm worried. I don't think we've got enough time to pull this off, and there's just no way they could really survive out there without way more training. Uh, not without any field experience at all. Um, doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever catch this. Uh, I'd ever care this much, but I don't. Uh, I wouldn't let anyone hurt them. They're my kids. Mine. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of experience, get some more uh more insight into what's going on here. Ah, kids, they're mine. What? Okay. Full ammo, we're still good. Let's go ahead and swap out for some heavy ordnance. Ooh. What is this? New slot. Ah, it's a shotgun. Gracious, look at the weight. Look at the weight on this thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, we're not taking the shotgun. We'll pick it up though. And they're really trying for it with that guy on the inter intercom there. The Matic. Shotguns have large spread, very deadly at close range. Yeah, but I really should be staying a little further back. Uh, also, work around lore? Really? The uh, the shotguns work around lore? Interesting. Alright. Let's play with the Matic. Matic increases weight, reduces capacity, reduces fire, same damage, much higher accuracy. Okay. I can't put mods on it, but. Um... Oh, the auto automatically. Uh, equip the exact same mods. Nice. Okay. Good job, game. Good job. Uh, should I swap this one over? Don't need pistol now. Really? Matic is single shot by the way. Oh, is it a full semi-automatic? Are you serious? Mid-range semi oh my goodness, mid-range semi-automatic rifle. The Matic is a hybrid weapon uh, with an assault rifle's low heat production with a sniper rifle's punch. Uh, marksman favor its increased power over that of an assault rifle for doing uh, down hard, uh, for bringing down hardened targets. Uh, its lack of full auto setting is uh, advertised as a feature rather than a shortcoming as it curbs a soldier's tendency to spray inaccurate fire under stress. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, I'll trust you guys. Go ahead and we can drop this bad boy. We don't need that anymore. Put the Matic instead. Um, we'll probably need to go and change out the mods. Um, we'll stick with this for now. Remove the pistol, you have less weight. Yeah, it brings our weight back into tolerable tolerable ranges here. Um, all right. And then, should we change the uh, the particle rifle over to that on Garrus or no? Should we change Garrus' particle rifle? Let me pour some more tea here real quick. While I wait for a response. We're all out of tea. My mug's empty. Got half a mug, half half a cup left in that teapot. Just to do it well. All right. Uh, I think we'll probably leave the particle rifle on Garrus as I think about it. Um, but this does give us the opportunity to go and change over to the Viper. Yeah. Because uh, we wanted to go with the semi-automatic for uh, Garrus, so he can just fire off like a crazy guy. Um, by the way, what did you do at the end of the, uh, Overlord DLC? Uh, also give him the auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him this one. Um, the Overlord DLC. Uh, oh, yes, uh, we sent him here. We sent, um, Alan? Albert? Uh, whatever the guy's name was in the Overlord DLC, we sent him here. Yeah, yeah. 100% did. Okay, we'll stick with the particle. Uh, we'll go with this one here. David. <laughs> okay, thank you. Not even close. Not even close. I wasn't even close. We'll go over to the sniper uh, for the Viper for him to be able to shoot faster. Um, 
And there's nothing we can change for Edie. Edie's still good. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and have you change out weapons. Edie, Shuriken. She's the Predator, yeah. Understood. Oh, I'm so in. I'm so in. This is what I want. This is what I need. Right, we're going to do Cryo on you, and we'll do Destructor on the other. Crap, she's hurt. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? You know my name. I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Excellent. Alright, good. Continue to explore. Oh. Open locker, found some credits. Good. I need those credits. We're gonna buy some more superfluous garbage. <laughs> Definitely need it. More ammo. Nice, good. Bring us back to full. Is there anything else around here for me to pick up? Oh man, the Maddox is gonna be a lot of fun. Alright, so I've got okay, so we're now playing with close range. I'm doing mid range and Garrus is doing long range right now. I'm working on it. Dinner is already online. Okay. Okay. Scooting up here. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, cutscene. Eat this. Is that? It is Jack. Jack. She grew her hair out. Shepherd. So she's the one who's feeling possessive. Who has said mine. That makes a lot of sense now. Slam him! No, no good. I'm, I'm digging Jack's new hairstyle. I'm not using the Avenger, give me my right gun. Or, yeah, you go for this. Bring military force. They need support. Um, I need to change over here. Make sure you activate that. I need to swap out for my sniper here. I don't know how much damage I'm going to do with this thing here. Okay, is Garrus down? Come on, Garrus. Uh, can I get an overload? Gracious. Okay. Take him out. Oh my goodness. Ow. Bad timing to stand up. Okay, take him down. Let's kind of clear the way a little bit. Let's keep working on this Atlas. Uh, Edie, can you um, knock him out? Great. Okay. Uh, we'll keep on going. Slow and steady here. Uh, after her, um, overload, you should incinerate. Ah, okay. We're almost ready. Okay. So if she doesn't overload... Okay. Chunk of damage. Combined arms! Keep mashing this thing down here. Um, uh, can't use her incinerate yet, but I can use mine. Covering. Okay, I've got a couple more shots left in me. Get him in the arm. Get him out of there. Where'd that mech go? There it is. Oh my goodness. Edie's sitting right here, like, easily being able to get shot, but was luckily not getting shot yet. Uh, we can go ahead and incinerate. Um, Edie can't quite do anything yet. We've got to wait for that. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely distracted there, Jack. Good job. Oh, hello. Oh, I whipped it. That's not good. Let's reload on this thing. I'm gonna knock out this guy here. Oh my goodness, that didn't work at all. Okay. Um. So if I can get a. Okay. Yeah. So I can. I can uh, hockey this. Excellent. Oh my ammo. That's really annoying. 
bit of fire. Evie, I need a little bit more from you. Yes, cover. Uh, Evie. There we go. Quick reload, and I've got him on the next round. There we go. Dealt with. Okay. Let's go ahead, and we can bring Garrus back up now, since I'm sure he's not just going to get himself instantly killed. Perfect. Wait, what? I thought you were down. Person. There we go. I can scoot and shoot, no problems. Man, that barrier was easy. Kaylee said she was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangly, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. What? Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. She really found her home. Ugh. Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Yeah, no, Jack is really... Like, Jack's had some serious character development. I like this a lot. This is really good. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. <laughs> the psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. <laughs> Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Now right, we gotta go then. If... Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way out. Oh, the okay. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Edie? Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. I can track that down. Um, if you're romance Jack in Mass Effect 2, the meeting starts with her punching you in the face and then making out? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. First things first, I got a handful of questions for you. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that uh, the Millennium Falcon was the Star Wars uh, hero ship. Uh, and that's the Old Republic 1 and 2. Um, and the Evan Hawk uh, was the hero ship you remember most uh, when you think about Star Wars. I mean, the Evan Hawk was the um, is like the precursor to the Millennium Falcon, so that makes perfect sense. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago... Their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? <sighs> They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Excellent. <laughs> uh, the new you? Now we'll come back to that last. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Uh, like, really? Oh my goodness, yeah. Um... Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. Okay. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. Okay, just checking. We're gonna check the other option, too, here. Students. Well, Let's go back to this, like and... Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance... Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Was impressive. Ugh, 
I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. True. Morden definitely could if he wanted. Uh, see you. Yeah, looking good. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. Seems like it. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Good to hear. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. All right. Uh, where do we need to go? Not down to the atrium. Got to find probably up top. I'm imagining. How does camera happen. access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Hmm. Give me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Sorry. Ooh, precision scope. My goodness, yes. That's gonna be really nice. Get a pad. What? She never mentioned it? When she was talking about the collector base? What? What? I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice, you'll be fine. <laughs> Get your orange juice, you'll be okay. Um We'll talk as soon as they're done with their banter. When we oh. get out of here, I'm going to the beach. Which beach? Ilium. Hotel Azure has a resort beach with waves and everything. Nothing but lonely Astari girls as far as you can see. That's assuming the Reapers haven't hit Ilium yet. You keep thinking like that, you'll die on the station. You've got to find something to focus on. Okay. Um. Well. Oh my goodness gracious. Hot alien women to focus on. Hey, you don't go for a star, you can I don't know. It's a big galaxy out there. <laughs> I don't need something out there. <gasps> well, then what do you Uh, hey, or maybe when this is over, we could get some coffee. Hey, got through his head. I wouldn't be interrupting your beach trip. You wear that green dress you wore at Holly's birthday party. You can interrupt anything you want. I think I can make that happen. Hey. Ah, nice. Took him a minute. He got, started talking himself in the corner there. But at least he recovered. That's good. That's good. Figured it out. You think they're supposed to be like barely 18 or something? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're just like late teens, early 20s is more or less what it is. Um, you know how a lot of people say the Millennium Falcon is uh, the hero ship? Yeah, no, I got you. I read that one. Uh, well, mostly Kotor 1 and 2 was Star Wars content you played. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you're a little interested in the movies. Well, you know, sometimes it's fun to actually play games uh, instead of watching stuff. Um, Jack's probably really relieved to see Shepard here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the way she interacted with him makes sense. And her punch was just her releasing that um, only way she knows how. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. She still uh, struggles with words. So it's very clear that was more of an emotional thing. Um, you gotta keep that juice for emergencies. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, also, the on fire right now. Ugh, that's no good. <laughs> I mean, that also makes sense. Ah, young love. Young, insanely powerful, biotic love. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be dangerous. Good watch out. All right, let's go talk to uh, these two here. All right, Rodriguez. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. With both of you here, maybe we've got a chance. That's not a maybe, Rodriguez. I can't believe you and our teacher right. work together. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. Maybe we've got a chance. We'll be ready when you need us, That's Commander. literally all. I'm allowed to, like, force... Conversation lines out of you guys, and that's all I get. Goodness. Well, we got that scope, so I'm excited about that. Also, this data pad here. Oh, I picked up and it was just uh, like credits or something. Never mind. All right, where's that terminal? Find server's laptop. Okay, the laptop somewhere. Is it this one. Yeah. Oh, data log. Uh, high priority target, student ID, 12-5D pierogi. Oh, it was him. Capture priority alpha, bring it back at all costs. Vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic ability compared to high leadership testing scores. Considered a prime candidate for indoctrination and... Cerberus. So they are uh, forcing indoctrination. Uh, which makes sense with the... Um... The, like the half husked 
individually fought on Mars. Dang. And high level enhancements for subsequent long term infiltration relocation. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's not good. Uh, if those if those guys start banging, they could literally knock the roof down. They probably could, yeah. <laughs> but also, think about the power of the child they would have. The child they have would be like insanely powerful, yeah. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Okay. That brings us right up here. We got more dialogue. So our teacher worked with Commander. Ah, okay. That's pretty fast. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. All right. So they're just in the same conversation. I just always want to check. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, Jack. I'm really, I'm really digging Jack's new hairstyle. Um, looks good on her. Um, uh, yeah, it'd be a super baby. It would indeed. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Yeah, just don't mind Shepard just Everyone manhandling the door. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Uh, don't take any risks. Yeah. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low. Pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? We can take care of this. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse <laughs> and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. She's a good leader. Uh, it reminds you why the Witcher magic users are mostly sterile. Yeah, just to make sure you don't have super babies. Okay, so here's a Okay, so here's a question. Garrus right now has overload as his um as his uh quick quick cast ability. Um how do we change this? Jack is amazing. I'm like man, Jack in uh Mass Effect 3 is already like twice as good as Jack in Mass Effect 2. Oh, these mechs, man. Oh, okay, this thing's already like heavily damaged. It's good. Uh I'm gonna We gotta run. Oh Garrus! Oh, I ran onto it, didn't I? Nah, okay. Loads. Um, can I get a... Oh yeah, then you just swapped again. Oh, hello! Jeez. Um, can I get a bit of burning fire here? Thank you. Jeez, that was... Hello. This is a notoriously difficult mission. Well then, it's time to do this in one shot. As it gets shot in the face by a, a missile. Oh nice, they're actually covering fire from the top. It's good. From way up above, nice. Whipped it. There we go. He didn't freeze from that? My freeze ammo not active? My freeze ammo is active. Thank you, Jack. Alright. Sure that guy's actually dead. Big rock in here, okay. Uh, how are we looking at this thing? This thing's got shields? When do the shields pop up? What? 
Give me a double overload down there, please. Thank you. Overload. Okay. I'm going to chat on this. Oh, I had a tiny bit of shields left. Seems to be slowly recharging. I'm out of ammo here, so I'll swap out. You got it. Oh, nice. And he swapped over to his mine on his quick cast. It's really interesting. I'm wondering why he does that. You can shoot through the uh, ice system the shields. I've been trying to do that in the past. It just didn't seem to work, but I'll give it another test. Okay, down it goes. Edie, be safe, please. Smoke. Centurion face. Good shot down. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, invisible. Cover. Reload. It's easy to get back here. We're gonna go take that turret. As soon as I, uh, have the ability to. Take that turret. Take that shield down. Give me that turret. Did it not work? Okay, it did work. Good. I was like, wait a second. Why not work? Okay. I'm gonna have to go pick up some ammo here. I'm, like, literally out. Or almost literally. Okay, so they took out their own turret. Perfect. Ghost. To Eenie, please. <laughs> Walking right in front of me. Okay, down you go. Hello. Down you go. Oh, that turret's gonna kill me. Called it. I just saw a turret all of a sudden. Those turrets are just literal murder. You gotta be careful. That sucks. Well, so much for me saying I was gonna quickly do this, and it's not that hard of a mission. So much for that. Make two over there. Okay. Um, so set up. That's good. That's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that setup. We're good. All right. Let's see here. Man, I can't see anything with this smoke. Oh, jeez. Uh, Edie, overload, please. Good. Works anyway, please. He's down. No, oh, don't do that. That was the wrong button. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. That's okay. We'll just run up here real quick. Take cover here. That'll be fine. Uh, quick reload. Hell yeah. Ooh, that guy's right behind me here. Okay, shattered out. Oh, that's not that's not good. Where's my team? What? You see me? All right, kill him. Cover. Okay. Where'd my team go? They were alive. Were they? Where were they? What? Where was my team? I like literally couldn't find them. So we're gonna stay up here this time. Oh, that's not good. Okay, Edie's up here at least. That's good. Uh, Edie, stay. I will. Garrus, get over here. I don't know where he is. I think he's behind the door. I honestly think he's behind the door. He's taking a grenade, this guy. Ah. Missed the targeting. Uh, Edie, can you shock him real quick, please? I didn't really stop him. Okay. We're gonna go reposition. One's coming from this direction. Uh, Garrus, get over here. Understood. Wherever you are, get over here. Ready for action? Hell yeah. Right, Jack's still helping, but yeah, no, Garrus is behind the door. Garrus didn't join us. Oh, that's awkward. Garrus isn't even here to fight. Oh, that doesn't work. All right, we're dead. I'll oh, we'll just try this again another round. Um, Garrus isn't here. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Well, how did we not get shot from that? What? You want to run that by me again? Oh, 
bro. But yeah, Garrus is literally not here. I'm, no wonder it's so hard. If you don't have your teammates to actually, you know... Help you. There he is! Good grin, where were you? It's Garrus, come on. No, what, no wonder we were struggling there. Okay, Garrus, just, just be a, an amazing turret, please. That'd be great, thanks. Okay, <laughs> did. Don't worry about it. Garrus is holding off uh, the uh, the whole other service assault. Apparently. All right, I need to move. I don't like this positioning. This positioning is pretty bad. All right, can you guys like? Understood. Come with me this time. I'm on it. You got it. You got it. Get over here. Get in here. Oh, for goodness sake! So that's the problem. Is they're just they're locked behind the door. We're going to move all the way up here. Alright, good. So that, that spawns them into existence by moving all the way up here. Perfect. Problem solved. Let's get a sniper out and let's play as the high ground. Yeah. It's over, Anakin. It's over, Cerberus. This is going to be a whole lot easier now that I've got the whole team. Man, how do you shoot through the isolates? You can just run up to down teammates and pick them up without using Metagel? Oh, that's really cool. That's good to know. Turn that around. Have that help. Oh, that's awkward. Hello. Can I just punch this guy down? Quick. Take some cover. Oh my goodness, he's not down. Thank you, Edie. <laughs> oh, I punched him enough. Alright, continue to use that turret. Alright. Wait, he's floating? Nice. Good work, students. Okay, let's get over there. This guy's still alive. I'm not just gonna keep wasting my shots on him. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Dealt with. Perfect. Alright, so Edie's down. It's unfortunate. Oh, that's no wonder. We got a turret here. Turn that around. Okay. Oh my goodness, what? Please. I can't get out of there. Where'd these guys come from? So I think those things are recharging their shields. Garrus is just like a little turret, ain't it, isn't he? Speaking of turret. Any turrets? No? Okay. Uh, stay, stay on cover, please. I'm just trying to, trying to get an assessment of the battlefield here. Okay, I'm going to back off. It's a grenade. Load. Set up shop right here. My sniper rifle back out. Now I've got full ammo again. Garrus, get down here. Oh, get down. Okay. Ow. Good gracious. Alright, Garrus is down as well. It's no good. Is that a turret there? It is a turret there. Perfect. Alright, turret, help me out. <laughs> Let's get that turret on, uh, on our side here. That's just kind of clean them out in the background. That turret will clean up a bunch. Although it does look like the students are still shooting it, even though it's on our side. That kind of sucks. Oh, wow. What you gonna do? He's not dead? Gracious. This combat engineer has a lot of health. Let's get taken care of. Let's get moving back up to where our team is. Got some ammo on the way. Oh, I see. You can, just, you can just revive. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, nope, you're supposed to help me. Stop shooting me. Get cover. Oh, BB. Alright, Edie, get up. Um, I don't have any powers I can use on that turret right now. Keeps sh shields just keep popping up. 
All right, we'll just uh, we'll just have to remember to keep using my powers on it constantly. That's fine. Can do. All right, team. Where's the rest of them? Garrus, what are you doing down there? Can't try to still shoot things from there. No. Hit fire for no good reason. Wait, why is it shooting me? Well, that's bad. Wow, the aiming with the uh, the. We'll just go ahead and convert it so it doesn't keep shooting me. Uh, aiming with the uh, the grenades is really hard. It doesn't go to where your reticle is. At... Oh, nice a decoy. It doesn't go where the reticle is at all. Yeah, the shield regen is a serious nightmare on this thing. I need to overload on that. Can we get a target on this thing? Can we just kill this turret, please? It's shield regen. It's insane. Is that? Oh, it's a shield pylon. Check that out. Is that what was recharging it? Yeah, okay, the shield pylon. So the pylon or the generator next to it to stop the shield regenerating. Aha, okay. I got you. Cool. More situational awareness of, like, the toys they're playing with. They're playing with a lot of tech. I do like that. Do the shield generators help me at all, or is it only the enemies? Let's need to pick up some ammo. We can get right back in this fight. What the, oh, is this decoy down there that was dropped? Okay. Uh, more ammo. We'll take cover here. Goodness, ow. Um. Can we get him to, to shoot him from here? Yeah, pylons work on everyone in range? Cool, so I can use them as well. That's really good to know. Uh, let's go to our sniper. Go take him out. Who takes this bad boy out? Actually, I don't, my, yeah, I don't have destructor ammo on this thing. I need that to get through them shields. Nice. Okay, clear this one out. Just down to armor now, so that's easy. It's all incinerate. Maybe he doesn't have an incinerate available right now, but we can... Incinerate from ED. Thank you. Perfect. Go ahead and cloak for big bonus damage on our last shot here. Nice. Alright, that's that. Let's move up. What an interesting building. Is there still someone up there? Why, hello? Now, Edie's still up here. Why, why are you shooting me? What's going on? So much for support. I'm under fire. Oh, they're trying to shoot someone underneath here, I see. They probably see someone down here. They do. That's who they're trying to hit from above. No concept of uh, floors, apparently. <laughs> Look at this cover. <laughs> We're in the atrium. I'm taking him back for the Nice. Got him. We can go through that side area. Uh, if you destroy the pylon, it's gone, but if you destroy the generator, you can fix it after you take their position and the pylon for itself. Oh, very cool. Okay. Cool, cool. Good to know. Okay. Metagel. I don't think there's anything else for me to pick up. I kind of explored most of that region. Peter, use credits. Oh, 3,750? Yes, please. I will take those. Alright, what do we have here? Um, let's move up the position. Let's get uh, Edie over here. Let's get Garrus over there. Get over here, team. Swap out. I will borrow that. Thank you. Is that turret not gonna shoot his creator? Oh, wow, did you see the speed at which that turret spun around? That was nuts. Okay. Perfect. I like it when they... Oh, <laughs> Perfect. I like it when they uh, they kill their own turrets for me. It's really nice. Sit down. Bam. Alright, good, good. Sounds like the uh, the students are doing alright. Like Never mind. Get that combat engineer down. Don't you dare even think about putting down more turrets. Oh, there's more troops coming. We'll just casually walk over here. Combat engineer somewhere over there. Can't see him. Oh. 
Headshot. <laughs> He's spinning all over the place. It's nice. Right? Oh, this is not really good cover. I can use this instead. Well, that's still not really good cover with this guy right here. This guy. Oh, uh oh. Thanks for the decoy, Edie. I appreciate it. Good. He's not shooting the decoy, though. Interesting. Alright, now that some people are shooting the decoy. Okay. Oh, I whiffed him. I whiffed him. There go. There he goes. Move back up. Grab onto here. Oh, for goodness sakes. Let's get the Matic out. Okay, so... That's awkward. I tried to use her decoy by hitting Q, but I can't tell her to use the decoy because instead it tells her where to go. Very awkward. Okay, I'll have to figure that one out. Is that guy dead? You can't really tell when they're floating. Rock cleared out here. Let's move up to this one. Oh, it's just a turret left. Ugh, good gracious, okay. Uh, Edie, get over here. Garrus, come down next to me, please. So if I say use the... Oh, okay, interesting. So I told her to use her decoy. Instead of decoying, um, she immediately hit with an overcharge. Or an overload. Okay. Very interesting that uh, Barrier was the option for me to quick cast from her, and yet... That's not what we cast. Huh. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Ah, uh, down here. Okay. <laughs> uh, the door's locked. Alright, perfect. Ooh. Ammunition. More grenades. I need to figure out grenade uh, targeting. I'm not good at throwing those grenades, because they don't go to threat or kill. Oh, no, you don't. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on shield technology. It's a handheld multi core solution based on platonic barriers. Why don't you come out peacefully? Why don't you bite me? Your cousin Joanna is already on the show. Hello. How's it going, team? I don't know who you are, but stay back. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I like that sneak attack. That was really cool. Last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 is <gasps> 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Ah. Oh. Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. Oh my goodness. He's he's better. You did a not great job perfect, keeping but... yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. David, can we chat? He looks much healthier. I remember you, the Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Oh man. Glad he's doing well. I ran right past a bunch of stuff? Uh oh. What did I run past? What'd I miss? Yeah, so wholesome. I know, right? What a guy. Um, terminal. Bunch of credits. Yes, please. Um, I can't go back. What did I miss? If I, if, oh, if you miss something important in the mission, you can buy an inspector terminal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Not I did miss something. If you. Okay, cool, cool. But we got more money, which is good. Uh, that, that comment prompted me to go back and take a look. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, he's the Sandal Mass Effect, sort of? Yeah. Ah, he's good. I'm glad he's doing well. Oh. Um. I 
I guess if you didn't get the Matic last time. So there's two places to pick up the Matic. Cool. Oh no, we got the Matic plus two! <gasps> I didn't pay attention to how much stronger it is now. Didn't tell me. Armor piercing mod, nice. Very nice. But yeah, so we're currently running with a Matic plus two now. Uh, there was something on the bench, in the little hallway below the arena, but it's fine. Ah, okay, I missed it. I thought I, sca I thought I scanned for everything when I was running around frantically, but I guess not. But hey, we got the Matic Plus 2. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, just check Spectre Requisitions and the Normandy to see, what you, uh, see if you want it. Um, any chance to know what it is? Since I missed it, I can't find it. You know, I'll have to find it there. Oh, chest piece. Nice. Uh, is it armor, weapon, or mod? I guess is so you can keep it still keep the cryptic. Um. Hello. Can I use? Can I use? Oh, sakes! I can use. Oh my goodness! Yes. Oh, this one's a Rodriguez. Um, Rodriguez capture priority alpha. Uh, bring back alive. Uh, bring back alive at all costs. Vital retrieval subject due to high, uh, very high aptitude scores, despite limited bionic ability. Um, considered prime candidate for indoctrination and enhancement under the Phantom Initiative. Okay. Uh, well, yes. Gimme. Oh, the the front's shattered. Okay, missiles. Shoot. Okay, melee. Doesn't really tell me what it does, but alright, cool. Dun 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 dun. So you can actually get into those uh, regularly uh, if you can figure out how. Ooh, that sounds cool. Okay, so that makes me stop moving. Oh, you don't like it when the text being used against you, huh? It's very somber music going on here. Okay, so I see it's gonna be like two at a time, and then more will come in, and it'll be two at a time, and then more will be coming in. All right? Yeah. So whenever I'm shooting the, it's okay. So I care more about shooting with the basic, basic shots. Uh, can I still? Can I tell you guys to get over here? You guys get over here. Get out of the line of fire. Get over here where it's safer. Yeah, I, I think I prefer the standard gunfire uh, over the missile. Just cause, oh, the missile does seem to be heat seeking, so never mind. Yeah, it is heat seeking. Look at that. <laughs> Feel my wrath. I whiffed him. Good. They're doing very little damage to this thing. Got Eden Garrus still firing them on. Hey, kid. Okay, good, and I can still tell them to use their abilities too. Cool. Blam! We're in full turret mode. Oh my goodness, okay, the particle got to come down. Nice. Nice. They just melt. So good. Um, hello? Okay, yep, definitely, definitely the way to go on that one. Explosives are definitely what we need to deal with those guys. Let's get rid of this co uh, the cover there. Get rid of this shielding. Okay. Team, how we feeling? Oh my, how many... Okay, Cerberus, how many troops do you have, A, uh, and B? Why are they not being used against the Reapers? Like, come on. Uh, Garrus, get back over here. Okay, uh, I'll shoot this guy real quick. Um... Garrus, get over there. Garrus, get back here. Come on, now. 
can do it. Student barrier is holding out well. You need to get back over here. I, mean, I, pr I appreciate you moving into better cover, but I want to keep you where I can babysit you. Okay, let's get over here. I want to make sure I can babysit you. I'd rather, like, slight bits of extra damage here. We good. Oh. We're just going to spam him out. Oh! There you go. So uh, you just have to break through the. Um... All right. Headshots into the cockpit. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, you just have to overwhelm them. Kaylee, Let's go, team. How's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Oh, for goodness' sakes. Nice. Rodriguez, we gotta go. Oh, these are uh, NS1 Cerberus shuttles. That's right, we're taking the Cerberus shuttles. And we managed to get her. Whew, close calls. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <laughs> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. <laughs> I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Um, yeah, no, we'll use it for support, for sure. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Yeah, hey, not... Jack, now that you're military... You gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f flight lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. <laughs> Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Nice. Nice. That's really good. That cut, that was good. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Anderson. Good to see you too, sir. Sir, I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. <laughs> then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well... Oh. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. There we go. Twelve thousand five hundred crits. Whoa. Okay. Any other pop-ups? No. All right. Let's take a look at the um, war assets here for the alliance. All right. The uh, 103rd military division. We gained some updated stuff. Uh, brown chicken, brown cow. That's exactly right, right? Infiltration. Um, or inflation is crazy in Mass Effect 3. Yeah, it really is. It's gone absolutely bonkers. 
Oh, Jack pretends uh, she doesn't want them uh, to be support. Yeah, she pretended. She, well, she told Shepard that she we should have him as support, but can't tell them to be support. Um, so we we took up the uh, the burden of being the guy, the bad guy, to have them yell at us about it. Uh, Biotic students from the Grissom Academy have joined the 103rd uh, Marine Division as a support unit. The students focus on their bionics uh, into barriers that shield the Marines and help control the flow of the battlefield. Nice. It's really good. And Sanders. First Lieutenant uh, Keely Sanders joined uh, Grissom Academy's board of directors after she gave up her military career. When the service raid on the Academy was thwarted by Commander Shepard, Sanders joined the Alliance Engineers, working to recreate the Prothean device uh, found on Mars. Uh, she, uh, her past work as systems technician, specifically, uh, studying synthetic intelligence has helped decode some of the complex feedback systems that control the weapon's energy output. Update. Some of the Grissom Academy's, uh, more technical minded students, ah, yes, the ones we found in the second group there, uh, were saved from Cerberus by Commander Shepard. They met up with Sanders, contributing their brain power to some of the problems she's been tackling. Update. Uh, David Archer, this is the guy that we saved, um, is among uh, is another refugee from Grissom Academy working on the device. Despite his youth, Archer's theories uh, on interstellar cross uh, oh my goodness interstellar cross modulation have won him uh, respect with the project scientists. So that was David Archer was the guy that we saved in that DLC from uh, Mass Effect Two. Uh, and Jack, hey, here's Jack. Nice. Um, Jack, formerly known as Subject Zero, may be the most talented bionic of her time. After helping Shepard destroy the Collectors, she was offered a teaching position at Grissom Academy by the Alliance. Accepting the position for reasons of her own, Jack continued to hone her skills while training her students. Grissom's board of directors, uh, member Keely Sanders, has matched with Jack's uh, energetic and, if unorthodox, teaching style. Uh, impressed with the inroads made with the children... Uh, Press with the inroads made with the children under the rogue, <laughs> under the rogue biotic care. Uh, yeah, and she's she's doing a good job, and that's awesome. So we ended up getting fifty five plus some extra. I don't know how much extra we got on here, but at least maybe like sixty or more. Um, we're almost halfway there to the min. It's good. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's good. All right. Are we ever going to do anything in this room? This room just seems like it's just... Like, uh, yeah, no one uses that. Okay. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's first things first, let's go check in with the... with the married couple. Or at least the uh, the happy couple might not be married yet, but yeah. You know. Let's go check in on them first. So Jackson instructor, I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Oh yeah. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, <laughs> nice job on getting them out of there, Commander. Oh my goodness, yeah. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. <laughs> nice. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Hello, Shepard. All right, hello. All right, off we go. On to the next. Uh, I'm assuming Jack isn't part of our squad, though. I don't think we. I don't think it said anything about her joining the team. You have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Oh. Oh. Lawson's trying to get in contact with us. Alright, we need to go to the captain's quarters. We need to go to the captain's cabin and see all of our fish. We gotta check out our fish. Oh, look at our fish. Use the tank. Here, have some food. Look at our tank. Nice. Anything else we can do over here? Change the music. Uh, we're missing a few ships still. It's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more ships uh, for our collection here. You have new armor? Oh, that's right, we did get new armors, right. Armor set. Armor set two. 
the Cerberus Ajax armor. Gives a boost to a whole bunch of stuff, but not health. Shield, shield regen, ammo capacity, power, and weapon. Wow, okay. Um... Okay. Uh, but it's a full it's a full set. It doesn't actually tell you how much it helps, which is really annoying. Uh, and uh, we're not wearing this because uh helmet. No. Well, actually no, we can wear helmets, but um it doesn't tell me about how much these boosts are, which is a little annoying. Complete sets for specific builds. Ah, I gotcha. We probably just have to look them up um somewhere else for how much the actual boost gives us. Oh, it has show info here. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Ammo capacity 25, weapon damage 10, power damage 10, regen 10, and shields 25. It's actually really good uh, for what I'm doing. The ammo capacity is nice because 25% increased ammo capacity on our, fifth, our 10 shot sniper rifle would give us an extra 4 or 5 shot. No, 2.5 shots. Uh, but we already have uh, additional ammo from a mod that we have in there. It's giving us 15 shots. So that would still help out a lot. That would probably give us 17, 18 shots, depending on how they round. We get weapon damage is nice, too. Um, N7 gives us health. Breathe gives us health. This ridiculous, insane, stupid visor here gives us shield recharge and power damage. No, we're not using that. We'll go with the standard visor for now. Chest piece, uh, health, shield regen, and power damage. It's actually a really nice-looking chest piece. Shield regen speed sounds nice. Now I'll stick to the health for now. Well, actually, shield regen speed, that's actually really good. There's a lot of times I'm waiting for more shields to come back. So we'll use the cast fabrication one. Um, the Armix Arsenal. Weapon damage and headshot damage. Um, versus 10% health. Uh, yeah, we'll swap that out. You need regen, to be honest? I really do. Uh, the Cerise armor piece looks really cool. Which one? It does. I really like this with the um, the plates. It's really nice. It's uh, This part here is like very Iron Man-esque. Uh, arms. Health. Melee damage. And that's it. Health or melee damage? We'll stick to health. I'm not doing melee as much as I'm getting shot at. So we'll stick to that. Um, weapon damage. Or health. We'll, stick to, we'll go to weapon damage, because if we can get to the point where our weapon damage is high enough that we can one-shot enemies uh, with a sniper rifle, uh, we won't get shot at, right? Yeah, so this is now uh, weapon damage 5%, headshot damage 10%, standard damage 10%, which means this is 15% increase uh, weapon damage, but additional 10% uh, brain damage, right? If we smack him in the brain, we wallop him in the head. And we'll stick to the standard N7 hat. Alright, cool. That's good. Save those changes. Nice. Good call. Good call. Make life easier. Uh, did you ever get the Deadpool looking helmet? No, I don't think I did. Death Mask is what it's called. Um, in Mass Effect 2? I don't think I did. If so, I didn't I didn't put it on or, and or notice. Uh, you're going to have to get some sleep. Have a good stream. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Hope you enjoy the, the video after stream. Oh, I will. Most definitely. Most definitely. I'll take a look at that. We'll see you around, John. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Oh, hello. Can I, I can interact with you. Oh, you're making a salute. Nice. Um, hope to see you tomorrow when we're playing Dark Souls 1. Or, if you're not interested, see you next week on Monday. We're playing more of this. Who can we talk to? No one in here? Go side. I wonder who's going to hang out in life support. We'll find out. Okay, no one's in any observation decks so far. Uh, are you playing Dark Souls 1? Yeah, Dark Souls 1 is our Wednesday-Thursday game, so we're playing that tomorrow. Uh, we're, curr we're currently fighting the boss, uh, Manus. Hopefully I can beat him early <laughs> into the stream. Uh, we'll see if we can. Uh, we have to fight Manus. We're doing some of the DLC right now uh, for that. Is it your first time playing Dark Souls? Yes, first time playing Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying it a lot, though. There's nothing in here for us, right? Perfect. Nothing in here. 
Um, you played Dark Souls 2 for an hour uh, when it was released. Never touched it again. Understandable. Uh, wish you the best of luck. We'll try to make it. All right. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow then. All right, Garrett's. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If mm. they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. It's true. Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one <laughs> more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? Yeah, maybe. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Oh. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. Rude. Another time, maybe. All right. Um, so how do you feel about uh, starting tomorrow's stream with the Menace fight? I think we can do it. I think we got this. We'll take a minute. We'll see how it goes. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Worst case scenario, um, we can always just go and try and do the crystal stuff instead. Um, or uh, see the scalus. We can always switch over to that if it ends up being uh, too hard to do. Um, what was this? Oh, yeah, that's the store discount. And like, oh, so each of these are like. Okay, I see. Yeah, we'll come back to these. Terminal? Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll read that later. I'm not gonna do that right now. They are. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. All right, off we go. On to the next. Uh, let's go talk to those down. Oh, that's right. We do need to go all the way to the cargo hold as well, or the shuttle bay. Go talk to Cortez. Um, so we can't just stop here at the uh, engineering. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. Oh. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. The processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> and I definitely support Donnelly. Nothing to report, Commander. Good here. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander. Power grid is in the green. Good to hear. Power grid is in the right, green. Good to hear. All right. Uh, is there anything down here uh, since we ran to Jack? Anything changed? Uh, last Thursday, uh, you made a call that you would uh, get it first time for you. Oh, yeah. Better step up. It's true. See if we can. Oh, what the? Why? Why are you down here? I was gonna see if Jack left something. Um, why'd you move from the cargo hold? Commander, I was exploring your ship. Okay, makes sense. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. It's true. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. 
I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. Yeah, true. Okay. So he's probably going to pop up in different locations and talk to us about past, um, past crew members then. Okay. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Hmm. Commander. Okay. Mass Effect 3 companions move about the Normandy every now and then. Uh, for some context. Uh, okay. There's some context in the talks. Interesting. That's cool. I like that. So do we just, like, find him over here and he just teleported? No, he's just not here. Oh, that's so cool. So we have to go and, like, track him down. Oh. I like that. It, like, brings life to the crew. Let's go see anything to talk to the reporter about or nothing over here. Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. Ooh. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Oh my goodness. Great. Anything to say? Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. <laughs> do we need to talk, Commander? Nope. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. Uh... We'll come back to his room at some point. Okay, see, so yeah, he'll just kind of scoot around in the meantime. I gotcha. All right, let's jump all the way down to the shuttle. We gotta talk to Cortez. All right, Cortez. Don't you dare! They're everywhere. You just get taken too. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Stay with me. Run. Get out of there. You can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Oh, Cortez. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. Mm. You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Oh. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. True. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. We're all on that. I'm here for you, man. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Alright. Careful romance options? Hey, you know... Shepard's had some pretty strong romances in the past, I'm just saying. Alright, so we have other mods we can play with here. So we've got Piercing and Magazine. Uh, we've got Stability. 30% increased weapon stability. That sounds really good. Don't really need it for the Matic, though. Uh, scope. Increased Accuracy. That sounds really good. Versus Armor Piercing. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, Cortez can't ninja... Uh, can't ninja mance. <laughs> like... Uh, you like Cadence? True. Cadence. Uh, it's really obvious when you're about to, um, uh, initiate it. I see, I see. The only bromance you'll accept is Rex? Oh my goodness. I mean, Shepard's bromance with Rex is pretty incredible. It's true. Um, I'm tempted to go with a scope on this thing. Increasing accuracy. 
just to make sure we actually hit our targets, since I am going to be using it at mid to long range. Um, and for here, we picked up others. So we have damage, and we have spare... Sh oh, man, having the spare Calypse is really good. What are the other ones we had? Um, concentration. Uh, so spare Thermal Eclipse. Sticks and Barrels. This is Piercing Mod. And Enhanced Scope is what it was. So a higher chance to hit. I mean, the accuracy is already ridiculously high. I don't see much of a reason for us to put a scope on right now. Can you see through smoke, though? I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works, but okay. Highlights targets through smoke. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's really cool. I'll stick to the damage for now, though. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, weapon upgrades. Mantis. So I can go and buy the Matic tier 3. Dang. Weapon damage, capacity, and ammo. Or, er, and weight. The main thing I'm looking at is, like, I gotta find a new sniper rifle. Or I want, at least, to find a new sniper rifle. Bigger one. One with more oomph. Or we'll just have to level it up like crazy. James? That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him. Taking names and kicking ass. That's what Anderson's job is. That's why we made him the, uh, uh put him on a seat of the council. That Jack is a mean SOB. But kind of hot. If he's like that. <laughs> James said, don't worry, I understand. I understand. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Mm, huh. True. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. All right, we're going to go get some sleep. Um, but came across this mod for 4X uh, foundries. Is there anything else we need to know? No, I think we're actually done. Um, Forex Foundations, uh, which will change the game and fix the Star Wars universe. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and you're looking at all the ships we put together. Cool. Oh, uh, there's one other semi-automatic assault rifle, uh, that you can miss later on. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. We'll keep an eye out for that. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. Perfect. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. 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 Ah, perfect. What's that? Um, some games choosing the mods can take as long as implementing them. That's true. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, we're going to have to go and end the stream here, everyone. We have to end it here. It's been a good long stream. Uh, we got a bunch of progress done. A lot of just, uh, you know, puttering about in the Citadel, unfortunately, for the first chunk of it. But a lot of lore and a lot of. Uh, interconnected stuff between um, this game and the previous games, which was really awesome. And then a really cool uh, really cool mission. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, uh, same time for uh, Dark Souls 1. Tomorrow and the following day will be Dark Souls 1. And we'll be back for Mass Effect 3 next week, Monday, Tuesday. Let's go see if we can find someone to raid who's playing this game. Who can we raid? Uh, it's always going to be a shot in the dark. At least it's usually a shot in the dark. Figure out who we're going to end up raiding here. Since, uh... We don't know. Because some of them play Master 3, some are 2, some are 1. I always want to be careful not to raid someone that, you know, is, is further ahead than where we're at. It's always tough on that one. Um... Remember first try tomorrow? Oh yeah, Temporal Shrimp, don't worry. We'll we'll beat uh, Manus first try tomorrow. Don't worry. So we, we got this. We got it for sure. Um, let's see, who can we grab? Um, man, I'm struggling to find someone, looks like they're, I think Mass Effect 2 would probably be the better call. For us to raid, um, I think this is Mass Effect 2, I, I can't tell, I can't tell. Um, so let's just be safe about it, uh, instead. And we're going to go ahead and we'll raid Alter Funk, who is currently playing Elder Scrolls. Uh, he is someone who hangs out uh, once in a while. Rarely, but he has popped in a couple of times. Um, part of a, a general community that does a whole bunch of the uh, the good old Paradox games. You know, Crusader Kings, uh, U4, Stellaris. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him a raid. Hang out with him for a bit. Uh, but I'm going to hop off pretty much immediately here because i got to get up early tomorrow. i got to get up and... Five hours, trying to get a little more sleep today than I did yesterday. See you all tomorrow. Have a good morning, evening, or night. See you then. Take care. Bye-bye.